good morning, boys. Today is going to be such a great day. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. Why do I have bad hair today? I literally got to get this going. and I can't do anything about it. So, here, the bus should be outside any second now. Wait a second. Where even is the bus? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait a second. There's a bus. Wait, what? Hey, bus, stop. Why are you running away? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? The bus literally drove past me. Oh, my goodness. I'm having such a bad day today. It's going to get even worse when I get to school because I have the biggest math test of the year. And I didn't even study, so I'm probably going to fail this. But let's go to school, and hopefully I don't fail. And perfect. I made a class just in time. And you're late to class. Wait a second, teacher. I'm late for class? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. The test already ended, and you missed it. What? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I am having the worst day ever. Oh, what happened to me? I feel weird, and I look weird. Wait a second. Am I dark speaker man? <laughs> oh, this actually feels super duper good. Well, let me go out here and, uh, hey guys, and, oh, uh, hey TV woman. Speaker man, you look different today. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I have a question for you. Uh, do you want to be my girlfriend? Uh, no, thank you. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Uh, get over here, TV woman. Tight speaker man, you're scaring me. Yeah, you better be scared. Come here. Hey, tight speaker man, what do you think you're doing? Uh, shut up, teacher. Oh. <laughs> That's why you don't mess with me. Hey, TV woman, where did he just go? Uh, no. Where? I know you're in this room somewhere. Come out wherever you are. Oh my gosh, he's so scary. Hey, TV woman. You should have accepted me to be your boyfriend. Because now I'm angry. Ah, teacher, help me. Oh, he can't help you. He's already down the ground. I'll be my girlfriend or else. No, I won't be your girlfriend. Bye. Wait, what? Are you serious? No. Oh my gosh. I expected that to work, but that just made me even more angry. And you know what? I'm going to take out my whole entire anger on the whole entire town. And I'm going to cause so much havoc on all the people. So, huh, what should I terrorize first? Hmm. Maybe I can go to the grocery store and terrorize everyone there and steal a lot of food. Yeah, that's a great idea. And hello, grocery store worker. I would like every single piece of food in this whole entire store. Um, sir, you're actually not allowed to do that. You're gonna have to pay for all of it. Oh, really? Uh, yes, really. Nothing in here is free. Well, now it is. Take this. Ah, Sonic Boom! Yeah, that's what I thought, boy. So, guys, now I can literally steal every single piece of food in here. And, oh, look, ice cream, yummy. And let me grab some pizza. And even more Doritos. And finally, top it off some Coca-Cola. And you vegetables, I do not like vegetables. And thanks a lot, Mr. Skibbity Worker. Hey, get back here. Uh, yeah, come get me if you even can. And guys, that was only the first place I caused havoc to, but I'm going to be causing havoc to so many more people and places because I am Dark Speaker Man. And oh, look, the police station's right here. Okay. I'm going to go inside and cause havoc on all the police officers. And hey there, Mr. Policeman. Oh, hello there. Do you have something to report? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to be causing havoc all day, and you can't do anything about it. Uh, you're going to be causing havoc all day? Uh, I don't think so. Wait, what? Uh, what do you mean? Sir, you're under arrest. What? Are you serious right now? Oh, my gosh. What did I expect by going into a police station? I'll go into your jail cell, mister. Come on. Okay, Mr. Policeman. I'm sorry for my actions. Why would you ever come into a police station and admit that you're going to cause havoc on the city? Well, because I'm just speaking facts. I already caused so much havoc. I stole all of this food right here. And after I escape out of here somehow, I'm going to cause even more havoc. All right, whatever you say, you're not going to be able to escape out of there. Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh, I'm going to prove that guy wrong. And after I get out of here, I'm going to cause so much havoc. Okay. Well, here, maybe under this bed, it has a secret hole. And no, wait a second. There is a literal vent right here. So maybe I can hop inside. And whoa. I just hopped inside of the vent and now I can escape. Look right here. Yes, sir. I'm out. And uh, hey, Mr. Bullies, man, you can't get me. Wait a second. How do you escape? <laughs> Take the L. Hey, get back here. Well, guys, now it seems like the police are after me. But whatever. Now it's time to cause even more havoc. And oh, the car dealership. And whoa, look at that car right there. That looks so awesome. And uh, hey there, Mr. Car Person. I would like to purchase that car out there for free. What, for free? Are you serious? Uh, that car is not for free. That car is literally like $5 million. $5 mil? <laughs> I don't care about that, mister. Give me the keys right now or else. Uh, no, I'm not going to give you the keys, sir. Are you okay in the Head. Yeah, I am. I said, or else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, don't activate your speakers now. Let me go ahead and let me grab the car keys. All right, you better. And sir, get out of my car dealership. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You're done for, kid. Ugh. Oh, man. 
now. <laughs> now I can just take the keys for myself. And I am going to steal this $5 million car. Yes, sir. I look so awesome in this car. Thanks a lot. And guys, now that I have this car, maybe I can like, get some girls' phone numbers and stuff. So, uh -huh, let's see. Where are all the girls at? Wait a second. Oh, hey there, ladies. Uh, hello. Who are you? I'm Dark Speaker Man. Now, do you guys like my car? I mean, it's a pretty nice car. Yeah, but I'm not really a gold digger. What? Are you serious? Well, how about you? Are you a gold digger? Uh, no. It looks cool, but I don't care. But I'm gonna get a quick picture with what? him. What? No, no, no. Are you serious? Come on, ladies. If you want a picture with my car, you're gonna have to be my girlfriend. Sorry, but you're not my type. What? Are you serious right now? Yeah, and I have a boyfriend. What? Oh, my gosh. How did I just get double rejected? Well, you know what? I'm gonna go follow these guys back, and I'm gonna get them to be my girlfriend. And, oh, look. They literally just walked straight inside of their house. So, you know what? Well, let me go ask them out. Hello, guys. Can I be your boyfriend, please? Oh, my gosh. That boy's outside of our house. Ew, no. Get away. Wait, what? Are you serious right now? Ugh. I'm not a creepy stalker. Oh, my gosh. These <laughs> girls are so mean. You know what? I'm gonna cause havoc to them. I'm gonna burn down their whole entire house. So, let me go sneak into their backyard real fast. And, oh, perfect. They have a girl right here. So, let me turn this on. And now, let me crank it up to max temperature. <laughs> and any second now, her whole entire house should burn down into flames. Oh, my gosh. There's a fire. <laughs> now, my plan is working. Oh, my gosh. Get out of the house fast. <laughs> this is what you girls get. Oh, my gosh. You are a psycho. Why did you follow us all the way to our house just to burn it down? Well, because I wanted you guys to be my girlfriend's boy. You rejected me, so this is what you get. Huh, I'm calling the police and they'll be here any moment. Wait, what? Uh-oh. I gotta get out of here. See ya. Guys, this is bad. I think the police are still after me, so I gotta keep causing havoc. And hopefully I don't get arrested by the end of the day. And, ooh, the bank. Okay, I'm gonna rob this, and right after I rob this, I'm gonna go back home and hide from the police. And now, hey there, bank skibbity. Oh, hello there. Would you like to take out some money from the bank? Uh, yes. I would like all of your money. What? You could all take all of my money. Hey. Oh, too bad. You see this? If you don't give me all of your money, then I will use this on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll give you all of the money. Follow me upstairs. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now, Banks, give me open the vault for me. Okay, sir, I'm on it. And here you go. Here is all your money. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. Thanks a lot. Well, now I can get out of this room. Wait a second. Why am I stuck in this room? Police, you're under arrest. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. You caught me in the act. Ha, ha, ha. I finally caught you. Now you're coming back to jail with me. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Mr. Policeman. And Banks, give me thank you so much for calling us. Well, come on, Titan Speaker, man. We're getting out of here. Uh, all right, Mr. Policeman. Now, follow me inside of the prison. You were already here once before. You know what to do. Yeah, I know. I gotta go to jail. And this time, I'm not putting you in that jail, so I'm putting you in this one. What? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. And now, you will be in here for the rest of your life, and there's no way to escape out of here. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Your evil antics are over, Titan Speaker Man. So now, it's time to turn back into yourself. Whoa, wait, wait. What are you doing? I want to be dark forever. And, oh, my gosh. I'm back to myself. Yup, but you still gotta serve jail time. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, speaker woman. That food was so delicious. And now I'm super duper full. Yeah, me too. That sandwich was so yummy. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my gosh. I'm such a good chef. Well, speaker woman, what do you want to do now? Well, I guess we could just watch on black screen for 24 hours. You know what? Honestly, that's not even a bad idea. Yeah. Let's watch the black screen for 24 hours. This is my favorite show ever. Yeah, it's mine too. Well, somebody just sent me a Snapchat. So I got to go look at my phone real quick. Oh, all right, speaker woman. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gosh, he's so funny. Wait, what? Uh, what do you mean he? Oh, uh, I meant she. You meant she? Uh, okay, yeah. Hopefully you did. Because I do not want you talking to any boys. Oh, don't worry, honey. I'm only talking to you. You are right, good. And by the way, speaker woman, can you please put your phone down? Because I really want us to both watch this TV show. Oh, yeah, sure I can. Oh, wait a second. I just got another Snapchat. Bro, what the heck? You just got another Snapchat? Oh, my gosh. Who's texting you? It better not be TV woman again. Oh, uh, yeah. And she needs me right away, so I gotta go. Wait, what? You gotta go? Are you serious, bro? Where are you guys even going? Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's just girls only. Bro, what? No, no, no. You're being super duper suspicious. Oh my gosh. All right, whatever. Bye, speaker woman. Bye, speaker man. Guys, honestly, speaker woman is so suspicious. Like, I honestly don't think someone would be Snapchatting to her that much. Like, that is crazy. She put down her phone for one second, then she got another Snapchat, and now she just left my house. Oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh. I just got a good idea. I gotta follow her. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Where did she? Go. Oh my goodness. I literally just lost her. Are you kidding me? Huh? Well, you know what? I just thought of this. She said that she's gonna hang out with TV Woman. So I'm gonna Snapchat TV Woman to see if she's actually hanging out with her. Okay, here. Let me open up Snapchat real quick. And let me put her 
an awesome filter. I'm going to send this to her. And I'm going to say in here, is Speaker Woman hanging out with you? And now let me send that to TV Woman real quick. I sent her the Snapchat, so now I just need to wait for a response. And wait a second. She already opened it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I wonder what she's going to say. She better be hanging out with her. And oh my goodness. Wait a second. She sent me a Snapchat. Okay. okay. And she said, uh, no, she's not here. Wait a second. What the heck? Guys, this is super duper suspicious. Hold on. Let me reply to her and be like, where is she then? This is not good at all. Honestly, I'm getting super duper suspicious of Speaker Woman. And I think she's cheating on me. And wait a second. She just sent me a snap. Uh, I don't know. Bruh. This is bad, guys. You know what? Here, let me Snapchat Speaker Woman real quick. And I'm going to ask where she is. And there, I sent it. Oh my gosh, guys. She better not be with someone else. And she just Snapchat me and said, I had TV Woman's house. Wait a second. Guys, she is legit lying to me. That is not TV Woman's house right there. That is someone else's house. Uh, bruh. Whose house even is that? Oh my gosh. I forgot. I know that she's lying to me now. So I'm going to hop my car. I'm going to figure out where she is. And I'm going to expose her. And honestly, guys, I think she may be cheating on me. Well, here, let me hop my car real quick. I'm going to drive around town and hopefully I can figure out where she is. Well, here, let me check this house over here first. And let's see. Is she here? Oh, uh, no. It doesn't seem like she is. So now I'm just going to go down here. I think there are some other houses down here. And huh, I don't even see her at all. Oh, my goodness. Well, hold on. Let me check my neighbor's house real quick and wait a second. My neighbor's house is literally TV Man. Hold on. This is suspicious. No way. She's at TV Man's house. Wait, what? Are you serious right now? Why is her pink car at TV Man's house? No, no, no. She cannot be cheating on me with TV Man. Uh, hello. Knock, knock, knock. Ring, ring, ring. Is anyone home? Uh, TV Man, I think someone's at the door. Go answer it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, let me go get the door. Wait a second. Did you guys just hear that too? Pretty positive eyes heard Speaker Woman's voice. Oh, wait a second. Hey there, TV Man. Uh, hey there, Speaker Man. What's up? Hey, bro. Uh, I was just wondering if I can come in real quick because uh, I have high suspicions that my girlfriend is cheating on me with you. Oh, are you talking about Speaker Woman? Uh, she's not even here right now. I'm about to go to bed. You're about to go to bed when I just came to the door. Yeah, right, bro. I mean, look at the sky, Speaker Man. It's literally dark outside, dude. And I've been awake since 3 a.m. in the morning, dude. I am literally so tired. Bro, what? Nah, you're lying to me. You know what? I'm coming in. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. You don't have to come in, bro. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? I guess I'll just show you my bedroom since you want to come into my house so much. All right, dude. Yeah, show me your bedroom. So follow me upstairs, Speaker Man, and you can see my bed since you want to see my bed so badly. All right, bro. Yeah, here. Let me see your bedroom. And okay, yeah. Literally, no one's even in this bedroom. But wait a second. You have closets right here, bro. Bro, you don't have to go through all my closets. I'm literally telling you that your girlfriend is not in my house, okay? I'm literally just trying to go to bed, dude. Yeah, right. Well, here. Let me look inside it. Okay, She's yeah. She's not in that closet right there. Well, hold on. Is this your bathroom right here, bro? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Do not go in there. Dude, why should I not go in there? That is super duper suspicious. Oh, uh, just don't go in there, Speaker Man, okay? No, dude. I'm going to go inside and wait a second. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. I told you. Bro, shut that door. Oh. Okay, okay. I understand why you told me not to go in there. It stinks like poopy. Yeah, I know. I literally cannot get the smell out of it. Well, uh, your girlfriend is not here, so come on. Just go. I need to go to bed. I'm literally dying of tiredness. Okay, okay, dude. I guess I'll believe you. Well, see ya, TV man. See ya, speaker man. And guys, it seems like she's not even here. I honestly think that she's not cheating on me anymore, so I'm just gonna head back home. And it is getting pretty late, so I'm just gonna head to bed as well. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. TV man literally posted a snapshot on his story right now, and he just told me that he was about to go to bed. Hold on, guys. Let me check my Snapchat real quick. And what in the heck? Hanging out with my boo? Bro, you cannot be serious right now. You know what? I'm gonna crash my car to this house. Hey, man, if you can hear me, be ready, bud. I saw your story. Bro, what are you doing? I am crashing my car to your house. And speaker woman, what are you doing? Uh-oh, this is bad. I gotta run. Uh, get back here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speak around. Calm down. Get out of my house, dude. No, dude. My girlfriend's literally cheating on me with you. Hey, get out. Get out. I'm going to vacuum you. Bro, bro, bro. Okay, okay. Do not vacuum me. Maybe we can talk about this. Yeah, we can't talk about this. Speaker woman is literally not even here. It was literally just a photo of me and my speaker. Dude, what? You think I'm that dumb? Oh, uh, yeah, because I was literally taking a photo with the speaker. And I was literally just playing random sounds that I found on the internet, okay? Now, your girlfriend is not here. This is literally just the only thing that was in the picture. Dude, no, no, no. You're capping to me. And I'm not dumb. Dude, literally look at my speaker. I literally had this on me just now. Okay, no, dude, shut up. You know what? I'm gonna look through your whole entire house again without you. I'm gonna figure out where the heck she is. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker man. Yeah, so here, I'm gonna check every single room real quick. And I'm gonna check your room again. And let's see. Okay, is she in here? No. She's still not in here. Oh my gosh, I have to open this bathroom. And oh my gosh, okay, that stinks. Okay, yeah, she's not in there. I don't know how anyone can last in there. Well, here, let me open this room. And no, she's not in this room either. Well, huh. Maybe she's out here on your balcony. And no, huh. 
Oh, I don't see her at all. See, speaker man, I told you, she is not even here. It was literally just me taking a photo with my speaker. And the only reason I called it my boo is because I love this thing to death. Like, it literally plays so much good music. Dude, I know you're lying to me. I swear I saw her here. Well, I still have a few more rooms to check, so I'm gonna check this real quick. And wait a second, this door is literally open. And look, there's literally nothing going on here. This is literally the room when my little nephews come over. Yeah, right, bud. I still haven't even checked every single room in the house. I haven't checked the downstairs yet. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna check everything, even the fridge. You know what, speaker man? I don't even give you permission to do this. Yeah, I don't care, bro. Arrest me if you want. Well, I'm gonna figure out if my girlfriend is shitty or not. And look, there's literally nothing in here. This is literally another guest bedroom. Dude, you have so many bedrooms in your house. Please stop bro, it. Bro, what? You're literally so weird. Now, come on. Continue checking my house. There's literally no one in here. You're literally just wasting both of our time. I'm literally just trying to listen to music, dude. Yeah, right, bud. Well, here. I'm gonna go check the fridge real quick. And let me see, huh? I'm gonna see if she's inside of here. And no, she's not even inside. Well, how about over here? And wait a second. How about in these? And no, nope. not in there either, bro. See, I told you she's not anywhere. Well, uh, how about you just get out of this room now? Dude, why do you want me to get out of this room so much? Bro, because I think you want to steal my soda now. Get out of here. You think I want to steal your soda, bro? Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to steal some of your soda. I'm going to drink it because this soda is my favorite. Well, hold on. There's still some more cabinets over here, and no, nope, I don't even think she could fit in that. See, I told you she's not inside of my house. It was literally only my speaker. Oh, uh, all right, bro. Wait a second. Dude, where did this plant come from? Oh, uh, what do you mean? I literally always had this plant speaker, man. Now, come on, bro. Just get out of my house. I'm literally so tired of you. No, 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 no. Hold on, bro. This plant looks familiar for some reason. Oh, really? So you know someone with long green hair? Wait, what? This is a someone? Oh, uh, I mean, what, what? No. Uh, I'm just a plant. Oh, come on. Wait a second. Your plant can talk? Uh, yeah. I'm a plant that can talk. Hold on. Wait a second. Look at me real quick, plant. Uh, this is my face. I'm a plant that can talk. Hold on. No. That is speaker woman. Hey. No, I'm a plant. Speaker woman, get over here! Speaker woman, run, run, run! Hey, you got me caught up! Oh, what are you doing in his house? Uh, speaker man, it's not what you think! Yeah, we're literally just friends, speaker man! Yeah, right! You literally posted on her Snapchat story and he called her your boo? No, that was literally my speaker, like I just said. I don't know how this lady got here. She's literally dressed up as a plant. Bruh, stop lying to me or I'll pour this soda all over your okay, face. Okay, okay, don't do that, don't do that. I do not want this soda on my face, speaker man. She literally just came over because we were gonna bake a cake. Yeah, for your no, guys, you're lying. I'm not that dumb. And this is all adding up now. It is not even my birthday, and you are cheating on me. No, we're not. It's your half birthday. No, it's not even my half birthday. You know what, Speaker Woman? I'm done with you. Wait, wait. No, no. I can explain April Fool's. And you know what, Speaker Man? I'm done with you. I'll sweep you out of my house. Bro, what? Oh, my gosh. It is not even April Fool's. You know what? We're breaking up, but I'm going to post this on my Snapchat story. No, don't post me like that. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker man. This is my girlfriend now. Yeah, right. Okay, here. Let me take this photo real quick. I'm going to send this to all my one million fans. And I'm going to say, speaker woman is a plan. And she is a cheater. And ha <laughs> ha, I'm going to post this to my story. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And guys, never cheat on anyone or you'll get exposed. She's like speaker woman. Ha <laughs> ha. See you later, speaker man. Get right. Uh, Pomni, I'm so thirsty. Can we get some Starbucks? Yeah, I think we should. All right, well, here. Let's go inside and have a little, little Timmy, are you at Starbucks today? And no, where even is little Timmy? I don't know where little Timmy is, but oh my goodness, who is that? Uh, Pomni, that is literally Jax. Oh my goodness, Jax? I haven't seen him around. Oh, uh, you haven't seen him around? He's literally like here every single day. Hey, Jax. Oh, uh, hey there, Pomni. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just looking at how cute you are. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you so much. Pomni, what the heck? What is going on with you? Hey, speaker man, come over here. Uh, okay, Pomni. I really like Jax. What? You like Jax? What the heck? Yeah, he's such a cute little bunny. Uh, okay, well, what are you gonna do? I am gonna ask for him to be my boyfriend. Bro, what? Right now, you guys haven't even gone on a date yet. Oh, yeah, that is true. Well, then I'll ask him to go on a date with me first, and then we can become boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, okay, Pomni. Yeah, you do that. Okay, hey, Jax. Uh, hey there again, Pomni. Would you like to go on a date with me? Would I like to go on a date with you? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Well, guys, can I tag along? Uh, yeah, I don't mind it. Well, where are we gonna go? Uh, I don't really know, Pomni. Where do you want to go? Well, it was just supposed to be Jax and I, but we were gonna go to the beach. Well, guys, we can go to the beach. Yay! Okay, let's go! And we're at the beach, and now we can start our date, Jax. Oh, uh, okay, Pomni. Well, what do you have planned for our date? Are we just gonna sit here? Well, honestly, I have so much stuff planned, and I can't wait to do it all with you. 
you. Oh, okay, Pomni. Well, I guess we'll just relax on this beach for now. And let me pop open a nice Bloxy Cola. Ooh, Bloxy Cola is my favorite. Yeah, me too, Pomni. Well, guys, I'm going to grab one as well. Let's sit down and uh, what do you want to talk about? Well, I want to get to know Jax better. Oh, uh, okay. So, Jax, what is your favorite color? Oh, well, my favorite color is pink, probably. Oh, my gosh, me too. Wait a second, that's your favorite color too? Uh, why is that your favorite color? You're literally wearing red and blue. Well, you're not wearing any pink either. Uh, Pomni, you literally look at that. His shirt is literally pink. Oh, well, I have a uh, pink blush on my cheeks, yeah? Oh, okay, Pomni. Well, that makes a lot of sense then. Well, Pomni, where are you from? I am from the Amazing Digital Circus. Wait a second, I'm from the Amazing Digital Circus also. How have I never seen you before? Oh, MG, no way! Bro, what the heck? You guys are literally both from the Amazing Digital Circus. I thought you would have known each other. Well, the Amazing Digital Circus is very big, Speaker Man. Oh, all right, Pomni. All right, last question. How many toes do you have? Bro, what the heck? Why would he ask that question, Pomni? How many toes do I have? Uh, I'm not really sure. Here, let me check real quick. Bro, what the heck? You're checking? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, it seems I have, like, three toes on each foot or something like that. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. Bro, guys, this is honestly the weirdest date I've ever been on. Can we all go somewhere else? Uh, I guess. Yes, we can. All right, well, where should we go? Honestly, I'm not really sure, Pomni. You have some stuff planned out, right? Yep, I sure do. All right, well, where are we going to go? Well, I have a grumble in my tummy, so let's go to Brooks Diner. Brooks Diner? Oh, all right, yeah. Well, guys, let's go to Brooks Diner. And guys, now we're at Brooks Diner, so let's have a seat. Here you go, my lady. After you. Uh huh, Jax, you're a sweetie pie. Yeah, I know, and I also got you these, Pomni. Oh, my gosh, flowers for me you shouldn't have. Wow, Jax, nice going. Wow, and they're red. That's my favorite. Yep, no problem, Pomni. Well, uh, where is the guy that's working here? Literally, no one is working anywhere today. Yeah, really? That's crazy. Uh, well, I guess Speaker Man is going to have to cook our food then. Bro, what? You want me to cook? Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. We do love bird to sit down while I cook your food. And uh, what do you guys even want? I want a steak. Uh, just give me a steak. All right, well, two steaks coming up. Let me see. Where are the steaks? And oh, look, they're right here. So let me try to put them on here. And perfect. We have two steaks. Warm me up right now, guys. All right, I can't wait. Hey, dude, what are you doing? Get out of my restaurant. What do you think you're doing in the kitchen? Uh, wait a second. Who the heck are you? I'm the owner of this restaurant. I was literally just taking a poopy. Now get out of the counter. Come on, get out of here. Oh, uh, okay, dude. Okay, dude. Well, these two lovebirds over here neither stay. Well, too bad. Now get out of here. Bro, what? Oh, my goodness, guys. I think we have to get out of the store, Pomni and Jax. Oh, but I was so excited for my steak. Well, guys, what do you want to do now? Huh, I'm not really sure. Well, guys, honestly, I think I just came up with a great idea. How about we play a game where both of you guys gift each other one item? Oh, that could be fun. Yeah, it sure does sound fun. Well, guys, which one of you want to go first? Oh, me. I know the perfect gift. You know the perfect gift? Oh, all right. Well, Jack, be prepared because after she finds her gift for you, then you have to find a gift for her. All right. This is going to be so easy. All right, Speaker Man. Let's go. All right. Well, where are we even going, Pomni? We are going to Rockstar. Rockstar clothing? Oh, all right. Hey, boys. Welcome to the store. Oh, hey there, little Timmy. What place you got in today? Well, I am here to get the perfect gift for my new boyfriend, Jack. Your new boyfriend? You have a new boyfriend, Pomni? Well, I'm not his girlfriend just yet, but hopefully once I get him this gift, he will be my boyfriend. Oh, okay, Pomni. Well, uh, good luck finding him a gift. Okay, thank you so much, little Timmy. Well, Pomni, what type of clothes are you gonna get him? I am gonna get him a bright pink suit. A bright pink suit? Uh, alright. Well, hopefully he'll like that. Yeah, hopefully he will. Alright, Speaker Man, I'm gonna try some of the suits on. Alright, Pomni, yeah, you do that. And here's the first suit. Oh, alright, wait a second, Pomni. You literally look like the Joker. What? No, I don't. Oh, uh, yes, you do. That suit is not even pink. That suit is literally purple and orange. Yeah, I know. I was just trying something new. Uh, okay. Well, let me change into the next suit. All right, Pomni. And here's the next option. Bro, Pomni. I thought we were just going to get him a pink suit. But this is bright rainbow. Yeah, but rainbow is so much fun. Oh, my goodness, Pomni. You look for Nicholas. Hey, no, I do not. Well, now I'm going to try in the bright pink suit. All right, Pomni, yeah. And hopefully it's actually pink this time. And here's the final suit. Oh, Pomni. That's actually a bright pink suit. And honestly, since pink is Jack's favorite color, I think he'll really like that. Yeah, I think so, too. Well, little Timmy, I would like to buy this suit. All right, Pomni. It's going to be about $10. Okay, perfect. Well, Pomni, after you pay for that, we're going to head back, and you're going to have to give that gift to him. Yeah, I know, and then he can get me a gift. Yeah, he sure can. Well, guys, thank you so much for shopping at Rockstar Clothing. Have a good day. Yep, you too, little Timmy. Well, Pomni, let's go back to Jax. Yeah, let's go. And now we are back. Well, Pomni, do you want to give Jax his gift now? No, I want to wait till afterwards. But Jax, you're really going to like my gift. All right, Pomni, yeah, hopefully I'll like it. I probably will. Well, I guess it's time for me to get Pomni's gift. Yep, it sure is, Jax. Well, follow me, Speaker Man. Oh, all right, and Jax, where are you even going to buy her? Well, I think I'm gonna buy her a new dress or something. A new dress, bro? Are you serious? She literally bought you a 
tuxedo. Wait a second, what'd she buy me? Oh no, I probably shouldn't have spoiled that. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, are you serious? Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna get her a dress. Uh, all right, Jax. And I hate Miss Lady. Jax would like to buy a girl a dress. Oh, all right, a dress? Okay. Well, what color are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for any dress that is red or blue. Red or blue? Okay, great choices. Well, let me go in the back and I'll show you some dresses. Okay, and here's the first dress. All right, Miss Lady and uh, Jax, how do you like this dress? Huh, uh, I don't really like this one. How about you go try on the blue one? Okay, will do. And Jax, hopefully you like this dress. Yeah, hopefully I do because I really want to get it for Pomni. She's going to look so amazing in that dress. Yeah, and you're going to look so amazing in that tuxedo. Oh my goodness, why did I just say that again? I'm sorry for spoiling the gift, bro. Jeez Louise, speaker man, you just keep spoiling it. Yeah, I know. Okay, here's the blue dress. Holy macaroni, this is the one. You know what, Miss Lady? I'll take it. How much is it? This dress is going to run you $200. Wait a second, two hundred dollars? Okay, you know what? Anything for Pomni because we are going on a date right now. And honestly, I really love her. So you know what? Take my money. Oh, that is so sweet. Here you go. Here's your dress. All right, thank you so much, Miss Lady. Have a good day. You do the same, honey. Well, Jax, let's go back to Pomni. You guys can give each other gifts. Yeah, I can't wait. Well, hey there, Pomni. Jax has your gift now. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what it is, and I can't wait to show you mine. All right, Pomni. Well, here is your gift. Oh my gosh, this dress is beautiful. Yeah, I know it's beautiful, just like you. Oh, thank you so much. Well, here's your gift now. All right, Pomni, let me see what this is. And oh my gosh, Pomni, this pink tuxedo looks so amazing. Yeah, I agree. OMG, this gave me the best idea ever. What if we just get married right now? Bro, wait, wait a second. You guys literally met like a few hours ago. Do you already want to get married? Yes, I want to marry him. Huh, uh, okay, Pomni. Yeah, I guess we could get married. Yeah. Bro, what the heck? Oh, my goodness, guys. Pomni, I thought you were going to ask him to be your boyfriend at the end of the day, not marry him. Well, marrying him is so much better. Okay, come on now, Jax. Let's go. Oh, okay, Pomni. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this is happening right now. And here we are. Well, this place looks so beautiful, Pomni, and it looks as beautiful as you. Oh, you're so sweet, Jax. Oh, uh, Pomni, how did you get this whole entire place set up in, like, five minutes? I have my ways. Well, Jax, let's get married. Now. All right, Pomni. Uh, yeah, let's do it. But who's gonna marry us? Uh, I guess Speaker Man can. Bro, what? You want me to marry you guys? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I've never thought of marriage in my life. So, Pomni, do you like Jax? Yes, I love Jax. Okay, and Jax, do you like Pomni? Yes, I love Pomni. You guys are now married, and you can kiss a bride. Oh my gosh, I'm married. Mwah! Oh, Pomni, we're gonna have such a happy life. Yeah. Now let's drive off into the sunset. Bro, what? You guys are just gonna leave me here? Yep. See you later, Speaker Man. Oh my gosh. All right, bye, guys. And I guess that was a Pomni and Jack's love story. Oh, uh, boys, I'm so bored. I've been watching TV for hours, and there's literally no good channels on. It's literally just these two bunny rabbits kissing. Oh, man. Well, uh, what can I do to cure my boredom? Hmm, maybe I can make some food or something. So, yeah, you know what? I was going to go make some food over here. And, guys, by the way, I ordered a package last night, so hopefully it arrives sometime soon. And maybe once that package arrives, it's going to cure my boredom fully. Well, here, let me grab a banana real fast, and, hmm, yo, this is delicious. And, honestly, I've no idea how to cook. Knock, knock, knock. Wait a second, guys. Who is that? Your package is here. No way. My package is here? Holy mackerel. I think the mailman came with my package. Uh, hey there, Mr. Mailman. Oh, hello there, speaker man. How is your day going? Uh, my day is super good, but it's even better since my package is here. All right, perfect. Well, uh, here is your package. Oh my gosh. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mailman. I really appreciate it. Yep, no problem, speaker man. Well, have a fun time with their package. I wonder what you bought. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Mailman. And guys, look, I literally got my package. And I'm going to open it in one second. So here, let me go on the couch again. And inside this package is the craziest thing ever. So let me open it up real fast. And look at this, boys. This is a lie detector. Yes. Wait, what? It just said yes? Wait. No way. It's actually working. Here. I'm going to try a question real fast. Uh, Mr. Lie Detector, am I cool? No. Bro, wait. I'm literally the coolest ever. Oh, uh, well, let me try again. Maybe it's malfunctioning. Uh, huh. Mr. Lie Detector, do I have friends? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Well, I guess it's not malfunctioning. Well, Mr. Lie Detector, can I test you out on other people? Yes. No way, guys. The Lie Detector also works on other people. So, you know what? That just gave me a genius idea. What if I went up to all my friends and I asked them a question? That is such a great idea. Well, you know what? I'm going to head to the grocery store because I think that little Timmy kid is there. And I really wonder if he's going to lie to me. So, let's go. 
You've got it. I'm at the grocery store now. Hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hello, sir. What brings you in today, Speaker Man? Oh, uh, nothing much. I just want to ask you a few questions. What, you want to ask me questions? Oh, uh, okay. Well, what questions do you want to ask me? This is a super duper easy question. Do you have Doritos in the store? Ah, uh, yes, we have Doritos. Do you want Doritos? Yes. Oh my gosh, guys, it works and all. Yeah, Timmy, sure. Oh, wait, well, here's some Doritos. Okay, thanks a lot. Well, Timmy, I have a few more questions to ask you, all right? Oh, uh, okay. You can ask me anything. Well, uh, do you enjoy working at this job? What? Yes, I love working at the job. This is the best job ever. No. Oh, uh, wait a second. Who just said no? Is there a ghost inside of here? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is hilarious. You know what? I'm going to ask Lil Timmy the funniest question ever. Uh, hey, Lil Timmy, I have another question. This is the final question, all right? Uh, okay. What is the final question? Uh, did you poop yourself this morning? What? No. Why would I ever poop myself? That's a disgusting Titan speaker, man. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You pooped yourself this morning, Timmy. Why? Who just said that was a lie? Hey. Uh, I think there's a ghost inside here that said I lied. I did not poop myself this morning. No. Hey, who just said no? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is a lot of tech. You're so hilarious. Well, little Timmy, thanks a lot. Oh, speaker, man. I'm so sad. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, I'm gonna go now. See ya, Timmy. Wait a second. You didn't buy a Dorito. Oh, guys, I know that the lie detector works on other people 100% now. So, I'm gonna head over to my friend's house, and I'm gonna test it on him. And now, I'm at TV Man's house, and now, hello there, TV Man. Oh, hey there, speaker, man. What brings you here? Oh, uh, nothing much. I just want to play a game with you. You want to play a game with me? Oh, okay. Well, what game do you want to play? Do you want to play Super Lario or Fork Knife? Oh, uh, no. Nah, I don't want to play those games. I just want to ask you a few questions. What? You want to ask me a few questions? Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, ask me the questions then. All right, TV man. Well, for the first question, I wanted to ask, do you really like TV woman? What? Do I like TV woman? Yes, of course. She's my girlfriend. No, that is false. What the heck? That is false? No way. Oh, uh, speaker man, what did I just hear? Was that you talking? Oh, uh, no, no, no. That was not me talking. I think you're hearing something. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, what's the next question then? Oh, uh, well, did you eat breakfast this morning? Did I eat breakfast this morning? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Who does? Doesn't eat breakfast. True. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so this thing's not lying. He does not like TV woman. That is kind of suspicious. I really wonder who he likes. Uh, Speaker Man, why do you keep talking to yourself? Oh, uh, for no reason, buddy. All right, this is getting really suspicious. Well, uh, ask me some more questions, bro. Uh, all right, TV Man. Well, since you don't like TV woman, do you like camera woman? No, I don't like camera woman. True. Wait, what? You don't like camera woman? Yeah, I don't like camera woman. Why would I like camera woman? Uh, I don't really know. Well, dude, I have another question for you. Oh my gosh, how many questions are there going to be? Okay, well, what's the question? Well, this this was pretty personal. Uh, do you like Speaker Woman? What? Do I like Speaker Woman? Why would I like Speaker Woman? She's literally your girlfriend. No, that is false. Wait, what, bro? Wait a second. Who just said that? Uh, Speaker Man, this is getting really suspicious. I think there's a ghost inside of the house. Uh, yeah, me too. Here, I'm gonna step outside for a second. No way. This is so bad. Why is the lie detector saying my best friend likes my girlfriend? Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna confront my friend. Oh, wait a second. Who's calling me? Uh, hello. Who is this? Oh, hey there, TV Man. I I just wanted to ask if we're going on our date today. If we're going on our date today, uh, yeah, of course we're going on the date. All right, perfect. I'll see you there. All right, Speaker Woman, uh, I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Uh, TV Man, who was that? Uh, that was just TV Woman. We were just talking about going on a date later today. Really? That was TV Woman? No, it wasn't. False. Uh, hey, who's talking? Oh, my gosh, something keeps saying true and false. Like, what even is making that noise? Wait a second, Speaker Man. What is that in your hand? Is that a lie detector? Yeah, it is a lie detector, bro. And I just caught you red-handed. Why was my girl girlfriend calling you on a phone, and why are you going on a date with her? Your girlfriend wasn't calling me, dude. I'm telling you, it was TV woman. Hey, get that stupid thing out of your hands. It's lying. Bro, the lie detector is not lie. Oh, uh, well, it seems like it's like malfunctioning or something like that, dude. Because I am not going on a date with your girlfriend. Trust oh, me. Oh, well, since you want to keep lying to me, I'm going to go confront speaker woman by myself. What? You're going to confront speaker woman? Oh, uh, okay. Well, have fun with that, dude. But I don't know why you're using that lie detector behind my back, dude. Now get out of my house. All right, dude. And holy macro, guys. TV man is so dumb. It was literally in my hand the whole time. Not I cannot believe that he was gonna go on a date with my girlfriend today. So you know what? I'm gonna head over to her house and I'm gonna confront her with a lie detector test. And guys, I'm at Speaker Woman's house. So here, let me just walk inside real fast. Wait a second. What is she doing? Is she putting on makeup right now? What? She's fully dressed up. Huh? She was literally about to go on a date with my best friend. I cannot believe it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna break inside of the house and now, hello there, Speaker Woman. Oh, well, Speaker Man, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, what are you doing all dressed up? Oh, I was just gonna 
should go hang out with some friends. Yeah. False. Uh, what was that noise? Oh, uh, it was nothing. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe it just said false. Uh, speaker man, why are you speaking to yourself? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I was speaking to your fridge. Uh, okay. That's a little weird. Well, I'm gonna go and hang out with my friends. Yep, yeah, bye. Hold on, speaker woman. Can I join you? Uh, no. It's just girl time. No boys allowed. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that that just said false. You know what, guys? I'm gonna spy on my girlfriend because this is getting way out of hand. Uh, I'm gonna have so much fun tonight. Uh, and guys, why is she going in a Brooke Haven Tiny? I honestly think that she's actually gonna go on a date with my best friend. This is so outrageous. So, you know what? I'm just gonna stay right here. And once my friend comes, I'm gonna spawn them for a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do the lie detector test with them. And if this lie detector says that they're actually going on a date, then I'm gonna break up with her. And wait a second, look. TV Man is coming right now. Oh, man. This date is gonna be so amazing. Wait, did he just say this date? Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that this is an actual date. Oh, hey there, Speaker Woman. Hey there, TV Man. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm so excited to be on this date with you. Yeah, me too, Speaker Woman. But there's kind of a problem. Speaker Man came to my house and he was getting really suspicious of us. Yeah, he came by my house too. Wait, really? Are you serious? Okay, that's really suspicious. Well, uh, hopefully he doesn't find that we're here because we are gonna have such a fun time on this date. I know. I'm so excited and so hungry. Let's order some food. Well, it seems like there's a steak and some hot dogs right here, so I guess we should just take them. Ooh, I really want a steak. And Speaker Woman, come sit down right over here and we can start our day. So, how was your day today? My day was great. Thank you for asking. Oh, gosh, I cannot believe that they're on a date right now. And soon I'm gonna confront them. Well, Speaker Roman, how do you think Speaker Man's gonna feel whenever he figures this out? Oh, he's not gonna care. Yeah, obviously I'm gonna care. Yeah, well, he was pretty frustrated when he came to my house. Because he had some sort of, like, lie detector thing, and it was, like, telling him if I was true or false. What? Well, I was hearing some noises when he was asking me some questions. So that might have been the lie detector. Oh, no! Oh, no, this is not good. He came to your house with the lie detector and my house. He definitely knows we're on this date right now. Okay, this is not good. Well, uh, do you wanna hop in my car and maybe we could get out of here? Yeah, let's go, quick! Wait, what? They're going in his car? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to follow them. Where are they even going? Well, Speaker Woman, let's go back to my place. Okay, sounds fun. What? They're going back to his house? No way! Well, I'm gonna go there, and once they're there, I'm gonna confront them. Well, Speaker Woman, let's watch some TV. Okay, what movie do you wanna watch? Well, we could watch some Survivor. I love Survivor. Oh yeah, me too. Let me go get some popcorn. Oh my gosh, guys, they're literally continuing the day at his house. I'm literally about to bust out this door and confront them. And here's your popcorn, baby. All right, thank you so much, Speaker Woman. What did she just call him, baby? Ugh, what the heck? Ugh, I'm so frustrated. Well, Speaker Woman, this day has been going super good so far. Yeah, it sure has. I've loved spending time with you. Yeah, me too. Do you want to kiss? Yes, I love to. What? They're gonna kiss? Ugh. Guys, what are you doing here? Are you on a date? Uh, no, we're not on a date. We're just hanging out. Yeah, uh, we're just hanging out, Speaker Man. Nothing's going on here. Guys, this whole dark time I was spying on you guys. Where's my lie detector? I heard you guys were about to kiss. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, you need to get rid of that stupid lie detector. It is literally broken or something. We were just hanging out. Yeah, totally. You guys were literally about to kiss before I bust down this door. Speaker Man, baby, I'm sorry. I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, you love me so much. And why are you even crying? You're the one that's cheating on me. Because I'm sorry. Okay, now please let me love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, the lie detector is not lying. And TV Man, why did you do this, bro? You literally stole my girlfriend from me. Well, I didn't mean to, okay? She just wanted to be my girlfriend. What? Are you serious? Ugh, speaker Woman, why did you want to be his boyfriend? Well, because you never want to hang out with me. Bro, I always want to hang out with you. You always just decline me, though. Like, I literally called your phone 55 times yesterday. You declined all the calls. Chill. Uh, you know what? I'm leaving. Yeah, all right. Whatever, Speaker Woman. You know what, TV Man? I'm gonna go get TV Woman to be my girlfriend. See ya. Wait, what? TV Woman to be your girlfriend? Hey, she doesn't know about this. And give me my car back. Where are you going? I'm going to her house right now. See ya, Buster. Oh, good morning, world. Today is gonna be such an amazing day, but to start off my day, I need to get some... Wait a second. Skibbity Toilet, what are you doing here? I'm here to kidnap you. Wait, what? You're here to kidnap me? Yep, you heard that correct. Now you're coming with me. Hey, yo, what? Okay, okay, okay. I will come with you, Skibbity Toilet. Just don't do anything bad to me, please. All right, go ahead and hop in my van. Okay, Mr. Skibbity Toilet, I'll hop in your van, and where are we even going? We're going to my secret laboratory. Huh? Your secret laboratory? Oh, no. Come down here, and we can get started. Uh, okay, Skibbity Toilet, wait a second. What is TV Woman doing? here. Speaker man, what are you doing here? I have brought you guys here today to swap your brains. Oh, no, I did not sign up for this. Yeah, me neither. I know you didn't sign up for it. I kidnapped you both. And now I'm gonna swap your brains. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, what is happening to me? Ha, ha, ha. And the experiment is complete. It's time to go now. Wait, Skippy me tell where you're going. Hey, yo, what happened? Ha, ha, ha. They will never be able to turn back to normal. Are you serious? Why do I look like TV woman? And why do I look like Speaker? 
Wicker Man. Oh, uh, TV Woman, I'm pretty sure our brains got swapped, and we have to figure out how to turn back into ourselves somehow. Hey, yo, that's so weird. Yeah, sure is, but how are we going to turn back into ourselves? Uh, I don't know, Speaker Man. Maybe the police can help us. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So let's go to the police, and hopefully they can actually help us. And hello, Mr. Police Officer. Can you help us, please? Our brains literally just got swapped. What What do you mean your brains are swapped? Yeah, but the toilet kidnapped us and swapped our brains. Okay, you guys are kind of weird. Are you guys on something? Are we on something? Are you serious right now? No, we're being for real. Do you not hear my voice? Yeah, okay. You guys are crazy. I don't know why your voice is so deep and you look like a girl. Bro, I literally just told you. Our brains got swapped. She is TV woman and I am speaker man. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. I'm arresting you guys. Hey, what? This is so unfair. Hey, yo! Come on now, follow me to your jail cell. You guys are crazy. Wait, what? We're getting arrested right now? Yep, you sure are. You guys sound like crazy people. No, what is out of here, Mr. Policeman? We're not joking. Our brains are swapped. Yeah, whatever. I think you guys are just crazy. No, Mr. Policeman, please believe us. Oh, my gosh. TV woman, we're literally stuck inside of here. How are we supposed to get out? I don't know, Speaker Man. I think we're gonna have to escape. Yeah, we probably will. And after that, wait a second. There's a vent up there. Are you serious? Yeah, I guess there is. This is a really bad place for a vent in a police office. I mean, yeah, it sure is. Well, as I was saying, after we escape, we gotta figure out some more ways that can hopefully turn us back into ourselves. So let's go up here and whoa. This is a tight squeeze, TV woman. Yeah, it sure is. And look over there. There's an exit. Oh, yeah, there sure is. So let's go out and oh my gosh, we're literally outside right now. Hey, crazy people, are you guys hungry? Wait a second. Where did they go? Uh-oh, the police man is here. Hopefully he doesn't come chasing after us. Quick, police station, turn on the sirens. Uh-oh, we gotta run. Oh, no, this is so bad, TV woman. First, our brains got swapped and now the police are after us. We gotta figure out how to turn back into ourselves fast. Where did those crazy people go? Phew, we finally lost that policeman, but now we have to figure out a way to turn back into ourselves. Yeah, maybe we can find Skibbity Toilet and he can change us back into ourselves. Oh yeah, maybe he can, but where even is he? I don't know, but we gotta go find him before the cops arrest us. Yeah, we sure do, so let's get a move on. And here's the first spot, the ice cream shop, so let's go inside and hello. Skibbity Toilet, are you in here at all? Uh, I don't think anyone's here, but I really want some ice cream. Yeah, me too. Do you think we should maybe just steal some? Hey, do you guys not see me down here? Uh, who is that? Is that a ghost talking? No, it's not a ghost. I'm the owner of this ice cream shop. Oh my gosh, you're so tiny. Wait, you what? You're the owner? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Mr. Baby Owner, have you seen Skimmy Toilet here today? Because I know he comes here often. No, I haven't seen him here today, but I think I saw him at the pool earlier. At the pool earlier? Well, I don't think there's anyone at the pool. Yeah, he probably isn't at the pool, but do you know any other places he likes to go? Well, he likes to go into his secret lair. Yeah, that's where our brains got swapped. Well, do you know anywhere else besides those two places. Yeah, I think I know a few places. Do you guys need help? Yeah, we kind of do. Because our brains got swapped by him, and the only way we think we can turn back into ourselves is if we find him. Oh, man, that's bad. Well, I can help you find him. Thank you, little kid. Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, where are we gonna go first? Oh, you'll see. Follow me. Oh, all right, little kid. Hopefully, we can find him soon. And we are here, and I think he might be inside the gym. He might be inside the gym? Okay. Thanks a lot, little kid. Well, we'll go up and check. So, let's see. Is he in here? And oh, my gosh. Why is there a huge buff cow right here? Uh, hey, buff Cal, have you seen that toilet guy? 101, 102. Uh, hello. Oh, uh, hello there, guys. What are we talking about? Sorry, I was just lifting my weights. Yeah, I can tell. I said, have you seen a toilet guy around here? Have I seen a toilet guy? Uh, no toilet guys inside of here. Are you sure? A kid said that you've seen a toilet here. Yeah, I'm sure. I've literally been here for a week straight, and I haven't seen any toilets come inside. So he's probably somewhere else, but he's definitely not here. Oh, man. Well, where do you think he would be? I don't know. Usually toilets are in the bathroom, so maybe he would be in the bathroom or something. Thank you, Mr. Cowman. You're so smart. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Thanks a lot. Well, let's see. Is there any bathrooms in here? Because that cow guy said he may be in here. And, uh, no, nope. there's no bathroom back here. Yeah, I don't see any bathrooms in here. Let's go into the nearest bathroom and check. Oh, yeah, and the nearest bathroom, I think, is a school bathroom. So let's go in there, and hopefully he's there. And here we made it to the nearest bathroom. So I'm going to go in the girls, and you can go in the boys. Oh, all right, let's see. Is Skibby Toilet in here? And no, here. Let me check the one stall. And no, nope. Skibby Toilet is not in this bathroom. Hello? Was anyone in here? Oh, my gosh. Why is there a boy in the girls' bathroom? Get out of here. Hey, I'm a girl. Oh, my gosh. There's a boy in the girl's bathroom. This is so disgusting. I'm calling the cops. What? Don't call the cops. I'm a girl. Girl, calm down. Our brains are literally swapped. She's a girl and I'm a boy. Oh, my gosh. Hello, 911. Yes, I need a policeman right outside of the school right now. No, no, no. Don't call the police. Uh-oh. I totally forgot about the police. All right. Thank you so much, guys. The police are coming. You guys are getting arrested. What? We're going to get arrested again? Are you serious? Oh, no. We got to run. Yeah, I don't want the police to arrest us. Yeah, me neither. Uh oh, he's right there. Okay, okay, run this way fast. Hey, get over here. I knew you guys were crazy. Quick, run. 
again. Get back here, Titan TV woman and Titan speaker man. Oh my gosh, he's shooting at us. Keep running. We gotta get away from him. And few, we've lost him for now. Yeah, but let's go take a break in this food mart. And hello there. Can we buy some food, please? Yeah, you said you wanna buy some food. Oh uh, yeah, we wanna buy some food. And also, have you seen like a toilet man around here at all? A toilet man? Yeah, he was in here earlier. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. What are you guys talking about? Oh uh, well, our brains kind of got swapped, and we need to find him. Do you know which way he went? Oh uh, yeah, I think he went to like his secret laboratory or whatever. What? He went there again? We gotta go. Come on. Hey, wait. Are you gonna pay for those Doritos? Wait, what? You sold Doritos? Are you serious? Shush, I'm hungry. And if I remember correctly, there should be a secret hideout right here. So let's go down. Let's see. Is he here? And oh my god. Give me totally. Hey, turn us back right now. Oh look who it is. It's Titan TV woman and Titan speaker man. Yeah, we want you to turn us back. Yeah, stop running from us, Skippy Toilet. <laughs> well, I've been expecting you guys. Wait, what? You've been expecting us? Yeah, I expected you guys to come back and try to get me to turn you back into yourselves. But you really think I'm gonna do that for you? Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. Well, it's not gonna be that easy. You're gonna have to catch me for it. What? Where'd he go? I don't even know. We have to find him so he can turn us back. Quick, let's find a car so we can figure out where he went. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's find a car to steal it and then we have to chase after him so he can turn us back. And oh my gosh, TV won't look. There's a police car right outside of the police station. Let's hop in fast. Okay, good idea. Wait a second. The crazy people. Hey, get back here, crazy people. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, see a police man. Hey, get back here with my car. Oh no, I have to get the other car. Oh my gosh, okay. TV woman, we have to find him fast so we can change his back before this police man arrests us. Okay, uh, where do you think he'll be? Wait a second, is that him inside your house? Oh yeah, it is. Hey, give me toilet. Turn us back right now. Oh, I'm not turning you guys back. Wait a second, you guys aren't that crazy. Is this the guy that swapped your brains? Yeah, Mr. Police Man, this guy swapped our brains. Uh oh. Sir, you're under arrest. Hey, let me go. <laughs> That's what you get. No, give me that brain swapping device. Oh, fine. Thanks to why now we can swap back into ourselves. Yeah, we turned back into ourselves and Skippity Toilet got arrested. Yeah, he sure did. Let's go. Speaker Man, do you want to hang out after school with me? Uh, TV Woman, I'm sorry, but I can't really. What? Why not? Well, because I have some stuff going on after school. Please, Speaker Man, I like you a lot. Yeah, TV Woman, I know you like me a lot, but I do not like you back. I'm sorry. What? Why don't you like me? I just don't. I'm sorry. Speaker Man, you're so mean. No, I'm not mean. Oh my gosh, you're weird. All right, guys, class Class is dismissed. Everybody can go home. Oh, all right, teacher. Thanks a lot. All right, I'm going to head straight home, and I'm going to head straight to bed. And oh, my gosh, I really do not like that TV woman girl. She is super duper weird. <sighs> and finally, that was such a long walk, but now I'm back home. And I can just go upstairs and lay my bed, and I can go to sleep now. Good night, guys. Speaker man, let me in. Wait, what? Are you serious? TV woman, what are you doing breaking into my house? Well, it doesn't seem like you're doing anything busy. Well, yeah, I was literally just about to go to sleep until you broke into my house. Like, what are you actually doing? Speaker man, I've already told you. I have a huge crush on you. Yes, I know you have a huge crush on me. Well, now can you get out of my house? I don't like you. But why don't you like me back? Just explain. I just don't. You're annoying and weird. <sighs> I'll do anything for you, Pookie Bear. Hey, what? Pookie Bear? No, I'm not a Pookie Bear. That's weird. Please, I'll do anything. Just give me a chance. No, no, no. You're weird. Get out of my house, lady. <laughs> okay, but I'll be back. Just you wait. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to let you inside. Well, here, let me just lock the door and thankfully she left. Oh my gosh, she is so annoying and weird. Why does she even have a huge crush on me? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Well, honestly, I don't really want to go to sleep after that just happened, so I'm just gonna go roam around the neighborhood and, huh, let me go get my car real fast. And wait a second. Did she just get a house right next to me? Hey there, Speaker Man. We're neighbors now. Yo, hey, what? No, no, no. I don't want to be neighbors with you. Well, too bad. I can't move my house. Holy mackerel. Okay, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I think I'm gonna head over to my friend TV Man's house so we can talk about this. Okay, that is Super duper weird. I'm just gonna head over there. Hello, TV man. How are you home? Oh, who's at my door? Wait a second. Titan speaker man. Hey, come in. All right, uh, TV man. I have something to talk about with you. Uh, yeah. What do you need to talk about? Tell me anything. Well, there's this girl named TV woman, and she is super duper crazy. She's been stalking me all day, and she literally bought a house right next to me. What? She bought a house right next to you? Well, maybe she just wants to be your friend or something. No, she wants me to be her boyfriend. What? Her boyfriend? Yeah, her boyfriend. What am I supposed to do? Well, maybe you could just be her boyfriend and she would stop being so crazy. But TV man, she is crazy. That's why I don't want to be her boyfriend. Oh, then I don't really know, Speaker Man. You're kind of out of luck. What are you serious right now, bro? Knock, knock, knock. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, TV man, she's here right now. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, go to my room. Go upstairs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. TV woman is so crazy. She's literally following me everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is bad. Oh, uh, hello there, TV woman. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I just know that Speaker Man's here, and I got him some flowers. Wait a second. You got Speaker Man flowers? Yes, and it's his favorite color, red. 
good. Beaker man, look at this. She's not crazy. She brought you flowers. TV man, TV man, stop it. She's super duper crazy. Trust me. Oh, there you are, Speaker man. Oh, uh, hey, TV woman. I brought you some flowers. Aren't they so pretty? Uh, no, no, no. I don't like them at all. What? You don't like my flowers? No, honestly, I don't. Can you get away from me, please? No, you have to take my flowers. You are my true love. We are soulmates. What the heck? No, no, no. We're not true love. You're just a stalker. <sighs> I have a crush on you. Now be my boyfriend. Hey, oh, what? No, no. I do not want to be your boyfriend. Get away from me. All right, yeah. TV woman. You need to get out of my house right now or I'm calling the cops. Uh, no. I don't think I'll be leaving. Well, uh, please just put away the gun. All right. Well, Titan Speaker Man, will you please be my boyfriend? I'll literally do anything for you. TV woman, for the last time, I do not want to be your boyfriend. You're so crazy and creepy. Say that again, mister. Hey, yo, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Titan TV woman, that's enough. I'm putting you to sleep. Ah. And now I can take her out of the house. Oh, my gosh. She's so crazy. See, I told you, TV man. This, this is literally what I was talking about. But thank you for putting her to sleep. But hopefully when she wakes up, she doesn't stalk me anymore because she is super duper crazy and creepy. Yeah, I'm sorry for letting her inside of the house. Well, I'm just going to drop her in the middle of the street right here and hopefully she'll be okay. Yeah, hopefully she will. Well, TV man, thanks for letting me come over, but I have to go run some errands now. All right, speaker man, if you ever need any help, just let me know. All right, thanks a lot. Well, I'm going to go now. See ya. TV woman is the craziest person I've ever met in my life and hopefully she doesn't wake up soon because if she does, I think she's going to try to do more crazy stuff to be my boyfriend. Well, here, I got to figure out where the grocery store is. Oh, and finally, I found the grocery store and help. Oh. Hey there, Jeremy. How's it going, buddy? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Welcome back to the grocery store. Hey, thanks for having me while here. I'm gonna get some Doritos and some Reese's bars. And I think that should be it. All right, let me go ahead and see how much this is for you. Uh, okay, let's see. It seems like it's gonna be about $10. $10? All right, here, let me grab my wallet. Wait a second. Uh, Jeremy, I kind of forgot my wallet. What? Are you serious? Well, how are you gonna pay? I don't really know. Wait a second. There's a bank down the street, so maybe I can just go grab some money from there real fast. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go ahead and grab some money and then come back here. All right, Jeremy. Well, I'll be right back. Trust me. Okay, well, I got to go to the bank and grab some money real fast. Good few. I made it to the bank, but wait a second. What is this red bike doing out here? I think I know that bike from somewhere. Wait a second. What is TV woman doing inside? Give me all your money. Oh, okay. Well, what do you need the money for? I'm going to buy a present for my boyfriend. Wait, what the heck? She said for boyfriend? What is she talking about me? Oh, my gosh. I got to put a stop to this. Hey, TV woman, what are you doing? Oh, hey, I was robbing a bank so I could get you a present. Look how much money. I have. What the heck? Okay, here's all the money that we have. Take it. Thank you. Bye. What are you serious, TV woman? You didn't have to do that for me. I can buy a present for myself. Nope, I'm getting you the best present ever. She really just robbed that whole entire bag to get me a present. I wonder what it's gonna be. And, uh, hey, mister, can I get, like, $10, please? Because I really gotta buy these Doritos in this Reese bar. Dude, I literally just gave that girl all the money in the bank. I can't do anything. Bro, are you serious right now? You don't have $10 to spare? No, I don't have $10. She literally has all the money. Go ask her for it or something. She's buying you a present, right? Yeah, I guess she is. All right, you're a weirdo. See ya. TV woman is so crazy. She just robbed the pack to give me a gift, but I really wonder where the gift is gonna be. Wait a second. What is a bright red car doing coming straight towards me? Speaker man, here's your gift. It's a $200,000 car. Hey, what? A $200,000 car? Are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Here are the keys. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. You're literally so crazy. I don't want to be your boyfriend. What? Be my boyfriend, Speaker man. I've literally done so much for you. I know you've done so much for me, but I didn't want any of it. And you're just doing it because you're crazy. Aw, you guys are so cute. Speaker Man and TV Woman, you guys make a great couple. Thank you, we do. Skippy Toilet, I do not like her at all. She's crazy. I was just joking. I bet she doesn't even like you. You're so fat. What? I'm not fat? What are you talking about? Did you just call my boyfriend fat? Hey, hey, hey. Put away the gun. Put away the gun. Take this. Oh. TV Woman, what are you doing? Why are you shooting Skippy Toilet? Because he called you fat, and you're not fat. You're perfect just the way you are, Speaker Man. I know, but you didn't have to shoot him. You're so crazy. I'm getting away from you, but thanks for the car. Hey, get back here. No, see ya. Be my boyfriend. What? No, you're still chasing me. Are you serious? Oh, no. Okay, okay. I gotta lock the doors. Ah! Why did you break into my house? Finally, we're all alone together. I don't want to be alone with you. Come on, you better be my boyfriend. I've done so much for you. I put my life on the line so many times just for you. Yeah, but you didn't have to. And put away that gun, please. I don't want to get shot. And I already told you I didn't like you. Why are you even doing all this? Because I want to be your boyfriend. Oh, I got to get out of here. Uh, get back here. Hey, yo, wait a second. What the heck? What is the tank doing right here? Hey, TV woman, you thought you could kill me? Give me toilet. How are you alive? Because Skippity Toilet never dies. Ah!
Oh my gosh, give me a toilet. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, Speaker Man. It seemed like you needed help from this crazy lady. Yeah, I sure did. You're a lifesaver. Well, Speaker Man, do you want to be friends? Oh uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can. So, TV Man, I want to get some Doritos, some pizza, even more Doritos, and some water. All right, dude, and look at this. There are literally energy drinks. I love energy drinks so much. Oh my gosh, I do as well. Here, I'm gonna get some energy drinks. And dude, I'm pretty sure that's all I'm gonna get. Yeah, and I'm gonna grab a Reese, and I think I'm done. All right, well, well, Timmy, dude, we would like to buy all these items. All right, both of us. Seems like it's gonna be about fifty dollars. Wait a second, fifty dollars? Uh, do you have fifty dollars, Speaker Man? No, dude, I thought you were paying. What? I thought you were paying. Why would I pay? I'm literally broke, dude. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, little Timmy, can we get these for free today? No, you guys cannot get them for free. You literally have to pay the price, dude. And if you guys don't pay the price, then I'm going to have to call the cops. Wait, what? You're going to have to call the cops on us if we don't pay? Well, Timmy, you would never call the cops on us. We're literally best friends. Well, if you guys don't steal from my grocery store, then I'm going to have to call the cops. Well, little Timmy, uh, we would never steal, right, TV man? Oh, uh, yeah, we would never steal. Here, speaker man, take the stuff. All right, bro, all right, I'll take it. Well, little Timmy, don't worry. Since we can't pay for it, we'll just go put everything back. Speaker man, get out of here. Uh, all right, bro, here, let me just walk outside and see you, little Timmy. All right, don't worry, little Timmy. I'm putting the stuff back. Okay, I see you're putting the stuff back, but wait a second. You're only putting two things back. You guys grabbed like 50 things. Oh, my God. Speaker Man just ran with all the stuff. I'm calling the police. Uh-oh, this is bad. I think little Timmy noticed. Oh, no, this is so bad. Oh, I'm sorry, little Timmy. We got to get out of here, TV Man. Let's go back to my house. And bro, quick, we're inside of the house. Okay, hopefully no police are going to come to our house. Because little Timmy literally called the police on us. I can't believe that he saw you get away with all that candy. Yeah, me neither. I probably shouldn't have screamed. Knock, knock, knock. Police, open up. Oh, no. I think the police is here. Let me go see. And oh, my goodness. Speaker Woman, are you here to arrest us? Yes, I am here to arrest you. You have broken the law. We have broken the law. Uh, and how have we broken the law exactly? You stole lots of food from Timmy's store. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Speaker Woman. We were just hungry and I didn't have any money. And we almost didn't get caught. And if we didn't get caught, then that means that we wouldn't be breaking any law. So could you maybe not arrest us, pretty please? Uh, no. That's not how it works. I have to do my job. Wait a second, Speaker Woman. No. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that this is happening right now. Well, you better believe it. You guys are going to be in jail for a long time. Oh, my goodness. Wait a second, TV man. I think we should escape out of Speaker Woman's prison. Oh, my gosh. That is a great idea, Speaker Man. First, we have to see what the prison looks like because it might be impossible. Yeah, it may. So, we're going to have to scan through all of the prison. All right. And here we are. This is my prison. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It is massive. Oh, my gosh. And look how tall these gates are. There's no way we're going to be able to jump over them. Oh, uh, well, you shouldn't be able to escape any prison anyway. Oh, all right. Well, TV man, bro, we still got to try to escape out of here because I do not want to stay in here for the rest of my life. Yeah, me too, Speaker Man. We gotta look around the prison and see if there's any way that we can escape. But first, let's stop talking and start getting inside here. Come on. Alright, yeah. Uh, Speaker Woman, what do we do here? Well, first, you gotta go through this no-weapon scanner to make sure you have no weapons on you. Uh, Alright, well, I have no weapons, okay? Okay, that is very good. And now we're gonna have to take your picture right over here. Wait, what? My picture? I didn't even shower today. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, say cheese. Uh, cheese! Alright, that's a great picture to go in your rinse stuff. Okay, now, TV Man, you sit down too. Oh, uh, okay. And click. There we go. Wait a second. I don't get to say cheese. You literally just took the photo? Yeah, sorry. That's just how the prison works. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. I really wanted to say cheese. Well, Speaker Woman, what's going on now? Where are we going to go? Now you're going to go to your prison cell. Wait, what? We're going to our prison cells already? Yep, boys. Follow me up these stairs. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it right now. And are we both in the exact same jail cell? Yep, you sure are. Be lucky that you have a roommate. Oh, man. All right. Well, you guys can have some fun rotting in here, and I'll be back when it's lunchtime. Wait, what? You'll be back when it's lunchtime? No. Oh, my goodness. Speaker Man, bro, I really do not like it in here already. And we've only been in here for like five minutes, dude. Yeah, I know. This place actually really sucks. And hopefully my fish doesn't die while we're inside of here because I forgot to feed him today and give him a wall. Bro, are you serious right now? Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to figure out a way to escape out of here. I say when it's lunchtime, we should try to figure out a way to escape out of this whole entire prison. Yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man. We're just gonna have to walk around and figure out where to go. But first, maybe we could find a way out of this prison in this prison cell. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Well, here, let's look above us and no, there's no vents right there. Well, maybe there's something on the top of the bed, and no, there's literally nothing. Well, how about under the bed? Let's see. Yeah, let's see, and no, there's nothing under there. Yeah, well, there's only one more place that we can go in. And that is the toilet, so let's look inside, and oh my gosh. The person that was in here before us forgot to flush, bro. Yeah, it literally smells like poop, oh my gosh. Well, it doesn't seem like there's gonna be any easy way to get out of this prison cell, which means there is only one way left. Wait a second, uh, what do you mean, TV man? I'm gonna run through the door! Wait, what? Oh. Uh, TV man, are you all right, bro? Oh, my gosh. I just banged my head so hard. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, man, bro. Get up right now. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. That did not work one bit. Yeah, I think I can tell. Well, boys, stop playing around. It's time for lunch. Wait a second.
second. It's time for lunch already? Well, that was quick. I guess I didn't have to run at the door after all. Yep, it sure was. Now come over here so I can give you some food. Oh, uh, all right, speaker woman. Well, what is for lunch? Today's lunch special is two pieces of bread, potatoes, and carrots. Ew, carrots? What the heck? With a side of green beans. Green beans? Oh, my gosh. You guys not have any blocks Donald's inside of here or anything like that? Because I really want some fast food. I don't want this trash. Yeah, me neither. I don't like this stuff. Uh, sorry. Well, you shouldn't have stolen anything to go to jail. Oh, my gosh. That's true. Wait a second. I still have this stuff from Little Timmy's store. Oh, my gosh. Me, too. Boys, come over here. You gotta empty your pockets. Wait, what? We have to empty our pockets? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. We shouldn't have done that. Yep, this food is not permitted in my jail cell. Oh, man. All right. Well, here you go, speaker woman. Here you go. Mm, thanks a lot. And these Doritos will taste delicious. Wait a second. What the heck? You're eating my Doritos? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Well, speaker man, it seems like we have to eat this horrible prison food. Yeah, we sure do, bro. Oh, wait a second. Look. Speaker woman is literally right there on that chair. So, you know what? While she's distracting, maybe we can find a way out of here. Oh, my gosh, speaker man. That's a good idea. Well, uh, let's look around. First, let's go to the shower. The showers, bro? Oh, all right. Yeah, well, we have to sneak past real fast. And oh, my gosh, let's see. And nope, there's literally no exit right here. Oh, man, they really built this prison well. I was for sure thinking that there would be a vent inside of here. Yeah, me too. Well, dude, we still have the kitchen to check. So let's go sneak across again and let's try to go check it. Boys, where do you think you're going? Oh, uh, hey, speaker woman. Uh, we're, we're going to the table so we can eat with you. Yeah, you better be going to the tables. The kitchen is off limits. Oh, yeah, don't worry. We weren't going to the kitchen. I was just coming over here to grab my food. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now you better eat up. Lunch is almost over. Uh, all right. Hey, TV man, bro. After lunch is over, I think we should try to sneak into the kitchen again. Yeah, that's a good idea, speaker man, but this time let's not get caught. Yeah, and hopefully there's an exit in there. Hey, what are you guys whispering about? Oh, uh, nothing, speaker woman. Yeah, nothing. Well, speaker woman, what are we gonna do after this? Well, after this, you're gonna have some time in the courtyard. Wait a second, the courtyard? Uh, well, speaker woman, how about we skip the courtyard for today? Can we just stay inside? Nope, sorry. You guys have to go to the courtyard. Oh my gosh. All right, speaker woman. Oh, TV man, bro. There may be an exit in the courtyard. Yeah, that's a good idea, speaker man. And if there is an exit in the courtyard, we can go back to the kitchen. Hopefully there's one there. Guys, stop whispering. You know what? I'm just gonna bring you to the courtyard already. Wait, what? You're gonna bring us to the courtyard already? Oh my gosh. I didn't even get to eat my food. Eh, it looks disgusting anyways. Yeah, I didn't get to eat it either. Well, let's go to the courtyard and oh my goodness. TV man, look at how high these walls are. Oh my gosh. These are literally like 50 feet tall. Yeah, that's the point. So no one throws the ball outside of the wall. Yeah, and so no one escapes. Oh my goodness. Ha 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 ha. You guys both thought you were gonna escape out of my courtyard. You guys are so hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, speaker man, let's just play some basketball. See you later, speaker woman. See you, boys. Have fun. Oh, I can't believe this, bro. I thought that we would have at least a chance to get out of the courtyard. But the walls are so high, so we can't even get up there. Yeah, but wait a second, speaker man. I have a great idea. Oh, uh, what is it, bro? Maybe we could grab these balls and stack them up. And then when we stack them up, we could jump on top of here, and then we could jump on that railing up there. Wait a second. That is not even a bad idea. So you know what? Yeah, let's try that. So here, I'm gonna grab the ball, and I'm gonna chuck it right on top of this other one. And wait a second, dude. Look. They're literally so bouncy, and you can't even climb on them. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, maybe we could take this machine over here and bring it over here. Let me try to see it. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even seem like we can move this thing. I think they cemented it into the ground. Yeah, I think they did too. Well, TV man, there's one last option. How about I jump on your head? You know what, speaker man? Okay, go ahead and do it. Come on. All right, well, here, I'm gonna jump your head. Ready, set, jump. And, uh, TV man, are you all right, buddy? Oh my gosh, speaker man, that was not a good idea. You literally just made me fall over. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Well, it doesn't seem like we can escape out of here. But we still have the kitchen, so after the courtyard session is done, we gotta run into their fast and hopefully we can find an exit, bro. Yeah, hopefully we can. Well, while we're waiting, I guess we'll just play some basketball or something. Yeah, you know what? Let's play basketball. Oh, come on, speaker man. You can't get the ball. Ha ha. No way, bro. You just missed. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, wait a second. Give me the ball. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Nope, nope. I'm gonna score. Take that. Yes, sir. Wait a second. I just missed. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. We're literally so bad at this speaker man. Yeah, we sure are. All right, boys. Your court yard time is up. Wait a second. Is up already? Wow, that was pretty fast. Well, now you gotta go take a shower. What? Take a shower? Well, actually, I really need a shower because I haven't showered for like three days straight. Oh my gosh, speaker man. That's disgusting. You should be showering at least every two days. Yeah, I know, bro. All right, boys. You guys can go in, but I'm a girl, so I can't follow you in. Well, TV man, come inside, bro. All right, we'll be out soon. All right, dude. She's literally out there. And I think she may be distracted right now. So you know what? I say we make a run for the kitchen. And hopefully we can get inside of it and hopefully we can escape. But speaker man, what if she's literally watching us outside? 
If we get caught, then I'm going to never be able to see my fish again. And he is probably going to die. Oh, yeah, that's true, bro. Well, one of us is going to have to walk out there just to see if the coast is clear. All right, well, I'll act like my shower is done, and I'll let you know, okay? All right, TV man, yeah. So let me just walk outside. And, uh, speaker woman, are you here? Oh, my gosh, bro. It doesn't seem like she's there. Yeah, bro, she's not here. Okay, quick. We gotta head to the kitchen fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go fast. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that we're escaping right now. And let's see. Is there anything inside of the kitchen? Okay, there's boxes. Maybe we can use these for something. So let's see if we can pick them up. And no, bro, they're way too heavy. Well, maybe there's another way that we can get it out. Wait a second. How did I not see this before, bro? Look, there's literally a vent right here. Oh, my gosh. There's a vent system. This is perfect, Speaker Man. Okay, we gotta get inside. Come on. Yeah, let's go, bro. Let's try to get in. And oh, my goodness. I just made it inside. And I did, too. And look, bro, there's literally so many exits in here. But I'm pretty sure only one is correct. So we're gonna have to go through every single one. And hopefully we can get out. Yeah, but we gotta make this quick because Speaker Woman's gonna catch on, dude. Yeah, she sure is. Well, here. Let's try to get through this vent right here. And oh, my goodness. Wait a second. Look at me. I just fell down here. No way, bro. I'm coming down. All right, well, here. Let me grab this flashlight so we can see. And whoa, whoa. There are literally so much stuff. But where did the vents even go? Wait a second. Look. The vent is right here. So let me hop inside of it. And where even are we? Oh, huh, it seems like we're in another storage room. Yeah, it sure does. Well, let's look around in here and let's see if there's any way that we can get out. Wait a second, bro. There are literally two doors. One door right here and one right here. But this one seems to lead to the prison. Yeah, it sure does. But we still have one more door. And it seems like this is the elevator. Yeah, it sure does seem like that. Well, here, bro. Let's hop inside and hopefully we can actually go down. All right, yeah. But we gotta be quiet because I think Speaker Robot's gonna hear us. Yeah, me too. Well, here. Let's go down. And, bro, look at this. This is literally the entrance. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe we're about to escape. But we gotta hurry up fast. Come on. Yeah, let's go, bro. Hey, boys, where are you going? Wait, what the heck? Oh, no, this is bad, bro. She's literally right behind us. Oh, no, we gotta get out of here quick. Try to jump over. Wait, what the heck? The gate just shut. No. Come on, come on. We gotta get out fast. Wait a second. Look, hop on here. Uh-oh. This is not good, bro. You boys are in so much trouble. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Woman. I can't believe you caught us. Well, I guess you could just come over and put handcuffs on me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now get in these handcuffs. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. Your key card just hit the opener. Quick, make a run for it. Oh, my gosh. Bye, Speaker Woman. Hey, no, come back. Oh, my goodness, David, man. We successfully escaped Speaker Woman's prison. Ha, ha, Speaker Woman. That's what you get. Uh, I'll be back for you guys. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, Speaker Man, why'd you bring me here? Well, TV man, I need your help. I don't know what I'm gonna do. My crazy fangirl said that she's gonna kidnap me if I don't go on a date with her. No matter what you do, do not go on that date with her. She just wants you to love her. You know what? Now that I think about it, she's probably gonna kidnap me regardless. So I'm not even gonna go on that date with her. Yeah, bro, you're just being silly. Well, TV man, thanks for the help, and it's getting pretty late, so I'm just gonna head back home, bro. Thanks a lot. All right, yeah, no problem, but remember, do not go on that date, Speaker Man. Okay, I will not go on the date with her. Uh, and guys, honestly, it's super duper late out, so I'm just gonna get ready for bed. So here, let me brush my teeth real fast. And that was my bedtime routine. Well, now it's time to head to bed. And everyone, have a good night's sleep. Hello, is anyone home? Oh my gosh, are you serious? I literally just got into bed. Who could be waking me up at this hour? Hello, who is it? Oh, hello there, Speaker Man. Uh, I have a message to deliver you. Oh, hey there, mailman Skippy Toilet. Uh, yeah, what's the message? Well, it says it's from your crazy fangirl. What? Are you serious? My crazy fangirl? What could she have sent? Well, it says from your crazy fangirl. If you don't go on the date, you will regret it. And make sure to dress nice, Pookie Bear. What? Are you serious? She said I'll regret not going on a date with her. Oh my gosh. What could that mean? Oh no, hopefully she doesn't kidnap me. Well, that's what she said. Do you want to take the note or something? Oh uh, nah, you can keep the note, dude. What? Okay, well, it's literally your mail. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna leave now. Have a good night. Yep, you too. See ya. And guys, I cannot believe believe that just happened. She literally told me to go on a date with her or else. Oh, man. Well, I'm gonna have to deal with that later, but for now, I'm just gonna head to bed. Good night, guys. Oh, who can be calling me? Are you serious? Hello, you just woke me up. Hey, Speaker Man, I'm just calling to remind you that we have a dinner date tonight. Uh, who is this? Uh, it's your crazy fangirl. What? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remembered that. And if you don't go, bad stuff is gonna happen to you. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks a lot, crazy fangirl. See ya. Guys, I cannot believe that just happened. My crazy crazy fangirl just called me and woke me up from my sleep. And she said we have a dinner tonight and if I don't go to the dinner, I'm literally gonna regret it. 
better. Okay. Well, guys, what I think I'm going to have to do is prepare for the dinner. So let me call my friend TV Man. Now, hey, TV Man, I need your help, buddy. Uh, all right, dude. What's going on? Well, TV Man, my crazy fangirl sent me a message last night, and she called me today. And she literally said, if I don't go on a date with her, something bad's going to happen to me. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, I already told you nothing bad is going to happen to you if you go on a date. She's literally going to kidnap you regardless. Now, please listen to me and don't be silly. Bro, she literally sent mail to my house that said, if I don't go on this date, bad stuff is going to happen to me. So, dude, I have to go on this date. Oh, my gosh. Well, if you have to go on the date, then you should be prepared. We're going to have to get you a nice suit, and we also have to get you a weapon. Now, I'll be at your house any second now. Oh, all right, TV man. I'll see you soon. Well, I'm already here. Let me in. Wait, what the heck, TV man? How do you get here so fast? Okay. Well, TV man, are you ready to get the stuff? Yeah, bro, I'm ready. How many hours do you have? Oh, I don't know. I think I only have, like, two more hours. Yeah, you slept in really late. Well, here, get in my car. Let's go to the suit shop. All right, TV man, let's do this thing. And we're here. Now it's time to get you a nice tuck. Yeah, it sure is. What color should I even pick out? Well, you're already wearing red, so maybe you should try a different color, like black or something, just like mine. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, hey there, lady. I would like to buy a tuxedo because I have a date later today. Okay, the tuxedos would be right over here. Oh, all right. Thanks a lot, Miss Lady. So, Speaker Man, go ahead and try some on. Let me write that. All right, TV Man. And here is my first suit, and it is super duper gold. Yeah, I don't know if that suit fits you. I'm gonna give it about a 4 out of 10. Hey, lady, what do you give his suit? Well, that is one of our most expensive suits that you have on. Yeah, I can tell. It's fully gold. Yep, that suit will run you about $60,000. What the heck? $60,000? Yeah, we did not have $60,000 to spend on a suit. Definitely go put that one back. All right, yeah, I will. Well, let's pick out another suit. And here is my next suit. And you, what even is this? Dude, what are you even wearing? You look like an abstract painting. Yeah, I know. This is weird. Hey, lady, what is this tuxedo? Oh, this is our Bucci and Chewy Japan collab. What? No way. Bucci and Chewy Japan? Oh, my gosh. This has to be so expensive. I don't know what fashion designers are putting into these tuxedos to make it's so expensive. But they look absolutely crazy. Yeah, they sure do. Who would even be wearing this? Well, all the ladies love it. Well, do you think a crazy fangirl would love it? Yep, she would. All right, well, we're still not getting it. Go put it back. What? Are you serious? Okay. Well, let me put on another tuxedo and hopefully this is the one. And here is my third suit and whoa, this actually looks super duper nice. Yeah, that does look pretty nice. Well, I told you not to go with the red suit, but you know what? It actually looks pretty good. I think you should do this one. Hey, lady, what do you think of this suit? Oh, well, uh, it doesn't seem like she She's here. She probably, like, went into the back or something. Yeah, she probably did. Oh, hey there, Sneaker Man. That suit looks really good on you. Oh, uh, hey there, Crazy Fangirl. Thanks a lot. Hey, Crazy Fangirl, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to get ready for your date? Well, I came here to buy myself a dress. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Speaker Man just got his tuxedo, so we're probably gonna go now. Yeah, we are. I'll see ya. All right, I'll see you at our dinner date. I'm so excited. Yeah, uh, he'll see you at the dinner date. Haha, <laughs> bye. Okay, TV Man, that was super duper creepy. She literally you really spawn there. Well, let's head to the weapon store now so I can get a weapon. And now we're at the weapon store. Come on, let's get yourself a weapon. Yeah, let's do this in a... Where even is the store? Well, we have to go to the courtroom, actually, because we have to get it licensed to you. So, hello there, Mr. Judge. Could we get a weapon? Oh, hello there. Okay, yes, you can get a weapon. Well, what I need you to do is sign this paper with your name. And then when you do that, I can give you your weapon. Oh, all right. Thanks a lot, old man. Well, here, let me sign real fast, and there I go. All righty. Thank you so much. And now, which weapon would you like? Would you like the plunger? Would you like the mop? Or would you like a gun? Uh, TV man, which one should I choose? Well, Speaker Man, you know how crazy your crazy fangirl is, so I think you're gonna actually have to choose that gun, bro. What? Are you serious? Okay, uh, mister, I would like to choose a gun, please. Alrighty, here you go. Alright, thanks a lot, Mr. Old Man. And TV Man, I now have a gun. Yeah, but you're not allowed to use that gun. That is only supposed to be for protection. Now, go ahead and put it away. Thanks. Thank you so much, Mr. Judge. Yep, no problem. Well, Speaker Man, we have to get back to the car because your dinner date should be starting any time now. Yeah, it sure is. Well, now that you have your tuxedo and weapon, where are you gonna take her on a date. Oh, well, I was kind of thinking Brooks Diner. Brooks Diner? Are you serious? That's literally like the cheapest restaurant you could ever go to. Well, yeah, I know. But the food is so delicious there. Yeah, I guess it is. Well, uh, hopefully the crazy fangirl likes it. Yeah, hopefully she does. I don't want her doing anything bad to me. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take you back to your house because I think your date is starting any second now. Oh, yeah, it sure is. And you're looking very good, Speaker Man. You got this. Just make sure that she doesn't do any bad things to you. And also, make sure to drive to her house and pick her up. Oh, Alright, thanks a lot, TV Man. Now, call me if you need anything, but Buddy, good luck. And guys, now it is time for my date. So as TV Man said, I'm going to have to drive to her house and pick her up. So here, let me go with my car real fast. And guys, now it's time to go pick up my crazy fangirl. And now I'm here. Hello, crazy fangirl. Are you ready for our date? Speaker Man, yes, I'm so ready. Now go ahead and hop my car and it's time to go on our date. Yay, I'm so excited. Well, Speaker Man, where are we going to eat? Oh, you'll see. Trust me. And now we're at Brooks Diner. Oh, Brooks Diner? You couldn't get anywhere nicer. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. That's the only thing I could afford. And I like Brooks Diner. Well, let's go sit over here. And I think the man's going to serve us. Oh, we're sitting in a booth? Really? Oh, uh, yeah. Would you rather sit on the ground? Uh, no. It's fine, I guess. But this booth is so uncomfortable. And it smells like farts in here. Well, I'm sorry. I can't really do anything about that. Oh, hello, guys. Welcome to Brooks Diner. What would you guys like to eat? Uh, what do you guys even have? Well, we have tacos and burritos. Well, do you have calamari? What? Do we have calamari? Uh, no. This is Brooks Diner. This is not a five-star restaurant. What about a beef wellington? A beef wellington? Do we look like Gordon Ramsay here or something? Do you know where you are right now? Or you're literally at the Brooks Diner. Yeah, crazy fangirl. This is not the top-of-the-line restaurant. They don't serve all that expensive stuff. Yeah, this place smells like farts in here. They don't even have any beef wellington. Okay, you know what? I guess you don't want anything to eat. Sir, what would you like to eat? Oh, uh, well, can I get a burrito? Yep, sure thing. And do you even want anything, Miss Little Lady? Fine, I'll go to take a taco. All righty, well, I'll get those food for you in a second. All right, thanks a lot. Baker, man, why'd you bring me here? This place is literally so poor. Well, because I'm kind of poor, and this is the only thing I can afford. Uh, I guess it's okay, Speaker Man, but don't bring me here ever again. Okay, okay. Honestly, I guess I just won't bring you on a date in general. Because you're super duper annoying. You're trash talking everything. What? Did you just say you won't take me on another date? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, yeah, because you're pretty annoying. Well, guess what? If you don't take me on a date, I'm gonna kidnap you. What? You're gonna kidnap me? Okay, okay. I guess we can go on another date, maybe. But I'm gonna have to take you here again next time because I'm super duper poor. No, no, no. I told you I'm never going here again. You gotta take me somewhere else. All right, lady. Please sit down. Your food is here. Uh, I guess I'll see if the food is good here at least. Well, guys, here is your burrito and here is your taco. Finally. I'm so hungry. But only one plate. Why do we have to share off of one plate? Well, because I still have to do the dishes. Now, be grateful. Yeah, and stop complaining. Uh, this tastes disgusting. Hey, what you put in this? Whoa, whoa, lady. Calm down. Those are our world-famous tacos. Crazy fat girl, stop it. This food tastes like dog food. No human can eat this. Hey, lady, like I said, this isn't a five-star restaurant. Yeah, stop complaining so much. Hey, man, I can't believe you brought me here. Now, you're going back to my house. What? what, what? Okay, okay. Put the gun down. No, I'm kidnapping you. Now, get in the car. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, I have a gun, too, just so you know. I don't care about the gun. Get in your car. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, you're coming home with me. Oh, okay, crazy fangirl. I thought you said if I went on a date with you, you wouldn't kidnap me. Well, that date was horrible, so you deserve to be kidnapped. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, speaker man, let's watch TV. Oh, uh, okay, crazy fangirl. Hey, you better sit next to me. Okay, okay. Well, wait a second. I kind of have to take a big doo-doo, so uh, here, excuse me. You better be quick. Oh, my gosh, guys. I got to call TV Man fast. I need him to save me. Uh, hello, TV Man buddy. I need your help, please. Uh, yeah, dude. What's up? She literally kidnapped me. Can you come here and save me? What? She kidnapped you? I told you she was going to kidnap you regardless. Yeah, I know, bro, but please come to our house and save me. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay, I'll be there in a few seconds. Just uh, get ready. Be at the front door or something. Okay, I'll be right there. Hey, guys, I have to get out of here fast. Uh, hey, crazy fangirl. I just kind of stretch real fast. I'll be right there. Uh, okay, but be quick. Okay, crazy fangirl. Hey, come on, TV man. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, speaker man, are you done your stretching? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be done in a second. Come on. I need to get out of here. Speaker man, don't worry. I'm here. Oh, perfect. I'll see you, crazy fangirl. Hey, get back here. Hey, crazy fangirl. Get away from speaker man. Oh, my gosh. You have a yeah, I have a gun. Now, never try to kidnap my friend ever again. Now, good night, crazy fangirl. What? I can't believe you say Speaker Man. Yeah, I never try to kidnap Speaker Man ever again. Speaker Man, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, TV Man. Why didn't you use your gun, bro? Well, I pulled it out, but she wasn't afraid at all. Oh, my gosh. Your fangirl is so... Oh, gosh. I'm literally so bored. There's nothing to do today. Well, maybe one of my friends can actually hang out. Oh, here. Let me call up TV Man real fast. And, uh, hey there, TV Man, buddy. Can you hang out? Oh, uh, no. I can't hang out today. Sorry. What? You can't hang out? Really? What are you even doing? Bro. I'm walking my fish. I'm sorry. Bro, what the heck? You're walking your fish? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you not walk your fish? No, bro. I don't even have a fish. Well, I'm walking my fish. Sorry, bro. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh, man. So literally just hung up on me. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, maybe one of my other friends can hang out. Let me call up cameraman real fast. And uh, hello there, cameraman. Can you hang out with me, buddy, please? Oh, hey there, speaker man. Uh, no, sorry. I'm walking my fish. Bro, what? You're walking your fish as well? Uh, yeah. Are you not walking your fish as annual walk your fish day? Bro, what the heck? How did I not? not know about this. Oh, my goodness. Well, have fun walking your fish, I guess, cameraman. Yep, you too. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that that just happened. Both of my friends are literally walking their fish for some reason. Well, you know what? There's only one more person that thinks around. So, here. Let me call up Speaker Woman. And, uh, hello there, Speaker Woman. Are you here? Oh, hey, Speaker Man. What's up? Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out today because literally all my other friends are walking their fish. Walking their fish? Huh? That's so weird. Yeah, apparently it's National Walker Fish Day. And honestly, I didn't even know you could walk your fish. Neither did I. Well, Speaker woman do you want to hang out uh maybe but my sister's in town so i'll have to check with her uh all right yeah let me know hey speaker girl do you want to hang out 
Speaker Man's house? Oh my gosh, Speaker Woman, that would be so amazing. All right, perfect. Well, Speaker Man, we will be over there soon. Wait a second, you all. Yes, sir. All right. I guess I'll see you guys soon. Yep, see ya. Bye. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Finally, my friends are going to cure my boredom. And we're here. Wow, that was fast. Uh, hey there, guys. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. I have heard so much good things about you. Oh my gosh, you look so hot and so muscular and so tall. I just want to give you a big kiss. Uh, what the heck? Hey, Speaker Girl, come down. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just really excited to see you, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, yeah, I can tell. Well, Speaker Man, this is Speaker Girl, my sister. Oh, well, I guess it's nice to meet you, Speaker Girl. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, too, and I have a huge crush on you. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I could tell. Oh, well, guys, how about we play a game? Ooh, I love games. What game should we play? Oh, uh, let me see. I think we can play some Super Lario. Okay, that sounds like so much fun. Oh, my gosh, I love Super Lario, and I also love you. Bro, what the heck? Okay, you're getting kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Oh, okay, uh, I'll calm down. Sorry, Speaker Man. Well, where do you want to sit? Because I want to sit next to you. Bro, what the heck? Uh, okay, I'll just sit right here, I guess. All right, and I'll sit right here. So let's play some Super Lario, and I'll let you win every single time because I love you so much. Uh, okay, I think I'll just beat you anyways. Well, guys, let's get started. Yeah, let's do this, guys. <laughs> hours later. Hey, that's not fair. I would have won if Speaker Girl didn't let you win so many times. Ha, Speaker Woman, that's what you get. And my boyfriend has won. Wait a second, uh, boyfriend. Are you kidding me? I'm not your boyfriend, Speaker Girl. Because we literally just met. Oops, did I just say that out loud? Uh, I'm sorry, Speaker Man. I just meant to say that you're my friend that's a boy. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, guys, it's getting kind of late, so are you guys gonna go home yet? Uh, I guess we can go home. What? No, Speaker Woman. I want to go on a date with Speaker Man. Wait, what? You want to go on a date with me? Yes, I want to go on a date with you. And I I want you to be my boyfriend. Uh, what the heck? I mean, I guess we can go on a date and see how it goes. But you've been really crazy. Yeah, I know I've been crazy. Crazy in love with you. Bro, what the heck? Now come here and let me give you a kiss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No kisses yet. We're gonna have to go on a date first. And maybe after that we can kiss, okay? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Well, I'm gonna go home and let you guys go on your date. And if she gets crazy, call me, Speaker Man. All right, thanks a lot, Speaker Woman. And uh, Speaker Girl, are you ready to go on the date now? Yes, I'm so ready to go on the date, Speaker Man. Oh. Oh my gosh, and you smell so good. What cologne are you using? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's just my body odor. Oh my gosh, well, you smell so amazing. I want to smell you even more. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. Let's just go on the date because you're getting pretty crazy. All right, Speaker Man, let's go. And welcome to Los Ponchos. This is where we're going to be having our date. Uh, Los Ponchos? Okay, um, this is kind of weird because this restaurant is super low quality, but um, whatever. Anything to make you love me, Speaker Man? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. This is my favorite taco shop, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, I love this place now. Uh, uh, all right. Hello, you love birds. Welcome to Los Ponchos. Uh, hey there, Maddie. How are you doing? I'm good. What can I start you guys off with? Um, excuse me. Are you hitting on my boyfriend? Uh, no. I just know Speaker Man. Yeah, she serves me tacos. Uh, okay, well, can you get us two tacos? And can you please get the food now and stop flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, girl, I was not flirting with your boyfriend. I don't even like Speaker Man. Sorry, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, it's all right. Well, I'll go ahead and get you guys your food. Yeah, you better. And Speaker Man, why is that girl flirting with you? Uh, dude, I do not think that she's flirting with me. She's literally a worker here that's supposed to serve us tacos. Yeah, right. I'm gonna do something about her flirting with you. Wait, uh, what the heck are you gonna do? Hey there, lady. Why are you flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, like I said, I am not flirting with your boyfriend. Yeah, sure, lady. Now give us our tacos. What the heck? Uh, what the heck is going on here? Speaker girl, put down the gun. Here, here, take your tacos. Yeah, that's what I thought, lady. Now never try to flirt with my boyfriend ever again. Bruh, speaker girl, she was not trying to flirt with me. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker Speaker Man, I'll sit down and let's finish up this date because I want to marry you. Oh, okay. You're kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I'm sorry. I'm just crazy in love with you. Yeah, I can tell. Well, here, let's eat our tacos. All right, and oh, these are trash. I mean, uh, no, these are delicious. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, we have to go here more. These are so good. Oh, uh, are you all right? You kind of sound like you're about to throw up. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Uh, okay, good. Well, I'm actually a little full, Speaker Man, so I don't really want to eat my tacos. But what I really want to do is go back to your house so I can kiss you. Bro, what the heck? Okay, after this, we're not going back to my house. We're gonna go somewhere else. Uh, okay, whatever, Speaker Man. Well, where are we gonna go? Well, maybe we can go to the beach or something because it's kind of relaxing over there. Oh my gosh, I love the beach. It is so relaxing. Well, how about this? Let's get out of this horrible restaurant and let's go to the beach. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we kind of have to pay. Speaker Man, you are not paying someone that was
was flirting with you. I am not letting that happen. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just come. I'll, I'm sorry, Maddie. Don't worry, Speaker Man. I understand. Now, come on, Speaker Man. Let's go to the beach. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go. And now we're at the beach, and oh my goodness. Hello, Timmy. Hey, buddy. Um, wait a second. Who the heck is that? Oh, hey, yeah, bro. What are you doing at the beach? You're never at the beach. Oh, uh, dude, I'm kind of on a date with this crazy girl right here. It is a little Speaker Woman's sister. What is Speaker Woman's sister? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, bro. She is super duper crazy. Oh my gosh, dude, that's super duper bad. Hey, Speaker Man, stop talking to this little kid and give me more attention. Bro, what? I've been giving attention for like an hour straight. Can I not just talk to my friend for one second? Yeah, Wadey, can he not talk to me for one second? Um, who do you think you are? You're not the one on this date, little kid. Well, it doesn't matter because Speaker Man is my friend. Well, we're on a romantic date. And you are literally ruining the date, little kid. Now get out of here. Lady, this is a public beach. Anybody is allowed on this beach, so I'm just going to stay here. All right, guys, calm down. I do not want you guys fighting. No, Speaker Man, I don't want this little kid on the beach with us. Hey, get off of the beach right now or I'm calling the cops. Bro, what the heck? Put down the gun. All right, lady. All right, lady. I'm sorry. I will get off of the beach. I'm sorry, okay? Speaker Man, I'll see you later. All right, yeah. See you, little Timmy. You know, Speaker Girl, you did not have to do that. But Speaker Man, he was not leaving the beach and I want to have a romantic date. Like, look at this. There's literally a fire just for us. Whoa, where did that even come from? What the heck? And there's also a cooler full of drinks. I think that little kid left them here. Yeah, me too. Well, Speaker Girl, honestly, you literally just disrespected one of my best friends, too. I don't think this is going to work out. Wait a second. You don't think this is going to work out? What does that mean? Oh, uh, I mean, like, me and you. I don't think it's going to work out. But Speaker Man, it has to work out. You are my one true love, and I just want to give you a big kiss. Ew, no, no, no. Do not kiss me, please. Speaker Man, we are not ending this date. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. We can still go to the date, okay? Yeah, that's what I thought, Speaker Man. And look at your arms. Oh, my gosh. They're so muscular. Okay, okay. Here, get away. I do not want to kiss right now. I wasn't going to kiss you, silly. I was just feeling your muscles. Well, let's go ahead and let's grab a sandwich. Let's just sit down and have a romantic date. Come on. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm just going to finish this taco from earlier. Wait a second. You brought the taco from the other place. Oh, my gosh. That's so disgusting of you, Speaker Man. Uh, no, it's not. It's my favorite taco. Well, honestly, Speaker Man, this is boring. Let's go back to your house or something. Uh, no, I don't think we can go back to my house. How about we go to, like, the pool? Go to the pool? Are you serious, Speaker Man? I just want to go to your house. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to the pool. Fine, but the pool is literally so boring. Honestly, it's the most fun thing around here. Well, let's go. And Speaker Girl, now we're at the pool, so let's go swim. All right, Speaker Man, and I'm going to go on the slide. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, this slide is so high. I'm so scared. Wait a second. There's a little girl up there. Hey, little girl, what are you doing up here? It is my turn to go on the slide. Uh, no, it's not. I'm just deciding if I should go on the slide. I'm really scared. Well, don't be scared. Go down. Ah! What the heck, Speaker Girl? You would always push her down. Yeah, I know I did, Speaker Man. She was taking too long. Hey, that was so mean, and I can't swim. Help me. Wait, what? She can't swim? Hey, girl. Come on, you can swim, please. Look, I'll help you go to the other side. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, thank you so much, mister. And the girl you're with is so mean and ugly. Hey, what did you just say to me, little girl? I said you're so mean and ugly. Well, guys, calm down. No, Speaker Man, be quiet. Everyone's been trying to flirt with you lately, and I'm the only one that's allowed to flirt with you. Bro, what? She's literally like a five-year-old girl. Uh, actually, I'm five and a half. Well, little five and a half girl, you're going back to the pool. I know! Ah! Stop pushing her in the pool. She can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim. You're so mean. Yeah, whatever. All right, Missy, I'm gonna call the cops on no, you. No, Daddy, this girl's being so mean to me. She pushed me in the pool. Please arrest her. Oh, no, Speaker Man. Uh, this is not good. Yeah, you really should not have pushed her in the pool because her dad's a police officer. Well, uh, how about we get out of here, Speaker Man? Come on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Run. And maybe we could go back to your house so I can kiss you. No, what the heck? We're gonna hide inside my house. Let's go. If you, we made it inside of the house. Yeah, Speaker Man, and now we're inside of the house so I can finally kiss you. Oh my gosh, you are so strong. It's so muscly and so cute and so hot. Oh, uh, Speaker Girl, I really do not want to kiss. Come here, Speaker Man. I'm going to kiss you. No, no, no. Please do not kiss me. Knock, knock, knock. Police. Wait a second. The police are at my house. Oh no, Speaker Man, this is not good. I have to hide. What? You're hiding? Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, I have to answer the door since it's a policeman. And hey there, Mr. Policeman. Hello there. Speaker Girl here. Oh uh, no, Speaker Girl. No, I don't think she is. Are you telling the truth or are you lying? Uh, yeah, I'm telling the truth. Well, you're gonna get arrested if you're lying. Oh, uh, okay, okay. She's literally upstairs on the toilet right now. All right.
right, thank you so much. She's under arrest. Uh, okay, good, thank you. She is super duper crazy. Oh, speaker girl, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm here to arrest you for pushing my daughter in the pool. Wait a second, you're arresting me? Hey, no. Speaker man, save me with your muscles. Speaker girl, I can't do anything. You literally got yourself into this situation. Oh my gosh, speaker man, I just wanted your love. Because you're so hot and so strong and so beautiful. Yeah, I know I am, but you're a crazy person, so I do not like you. Oh my gosh, speaker man, well, I'll be back to get your love. Don't worry. Yeah, right. I'll see you never. Guys, speaker woman's sister was so crazy, but now she got arrested, so I'm never gonna see her ever again. Oh, uh, where am I right now? Whoa, why are we trapped in a one heart together, speaker man? Did you make this for me? Wait a second, camera woman. I did not make this one heart, and honestly, that was your idea why we're on here together. Oh my gosh, well, this is perfect, because I have a huge crush on you. Oh, I finally made it. Sorry about that, camera woman. I am the one that built the one heart, because I'm truly in love with you. Uh, TV man, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I said I built the one heart. Wait a second, what is speaker man doing here? Uh, speaker man, how did you get here? Dude, I literally just spawn here and i got no idea why well you are not supposed to be here so uh get off the one heart come on get out of here oh dude i'm not gonna get out of the one heart stop it and you know what how about you get off the one heart i was here first wait a second hey hey hey, hey. <laughs> that's what you get oh my gosh but speaker man this is my one heart therefore you're not allowed on here so let me be with camera woman in peace uh well tv man i actually like speaker man wait what but i built the one heart for you well this one heart is nice but i really like speaker man yeah so get off this heart dude whoa whoa, whoa. okay how about this Let's do a build battle on whoever wins gets to stay on the one heart. But whoever loses has to get off the one heart. Because it's only fair. I'm the one that built this thing, and you like Speaker Man. Yeah, so we have to find some way to settle this. All right, you know what, TV Man? That's actually a good idea. And honestly, whoever wins a build challenge gets Camera Woman's heart. All right, that sounds like a plan. Well, Speaker Man, you're going down. Yeah, right, dude. Well, Camera Woman, what are you even supposed to be building? I want you to build me. Build you? Uh, all right. All right, this is going to be so easy. Well, Camera Woman, we're going to get to that. And trust me, I'm going to build a one-to-one -one replica of your beautiful face. And I'm gonna win this build challenge. All right, I can't wait to see. Well, you better get building. All right, yeah, here, I'll get building. Well, I don't have blocks yet, so I have to mine this lucky block real quick. Yeah, perfect. I got all the blocks I need. So now I can get started on building your beautiful face. So I'm gonna bridge out here and perfect. I think this is far enough. Hey, look at me, camera woman. I'm already building your face. Wow, you're making a lot of progress, TV man. Yep, I sure am. And my build is going to be way better than speaker man, so trust me. Bro, I know it's not. You're gonna see TV man after her head is done. I'm literally gonna gonna be able to stay on this one black with her for life. Yeah, right. Whatever you say. I gotta start building the outline of her beautiful face, so I'm gonna make it just like this, and I have to build up some, and let's see. How many blocks down here? One, two, three, four. And then I build one, two, three, four up. Alright, perfect. Oh, now I have to place some blocks just like that. Now I can build it over here as well. And this is turning out so good so far. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. Bro, look how small your build is. And it's not even round like a camera. Oh my gosh, you're literally gonna lose this speaker, man. You suck. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Your build is like 10 times bigger than mine. You know what? I'm going to get rid of my build. I'm going to redo just it. Just like this. Let me extend it real quick. Just like that. And then I'm going to build up like that. And how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, perfect. Seven blocks. So I have one right here. And I have to build up one just like that. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And perfect. I made it tall enough. So I got to build over here real quick. And guys, my circle is literally complete. Uh, speaker man, your circle is a little uneven. Wait, uh, what do you mean? If you look back here, it's really uneven. Oh my gosh, are you serious? What the heck? Why is my thing literally lopsided? Oh, uh -huh, that thing looks so trash. Do you think I have a lopsided face? No, 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 I do not think that. Well, here, look. I think I just fixed it. All right, phew, I was about to get upset. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, camera woman. Yeah, I still think it looks pretty lopsided. Right, no, it does not, TV man. Well, camera woman, here, come here real quick. I need to see your beautiful face, and okay, now I know how to make it. It's gonna look like a one-to-one -one replica of you. All right, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah, me too. Hey, look at this camera woman. Wow, you're making a lot of progress, TV man. Yep, I sure am. And this thing is going to look exactly like you. Let's hope it does. Well, guys, right now I'm building the inside of my face. But I realize camera woman has a visor around her head. So I'm going to have to build that as well. So I'm going to place blocks like this. And then I'm going to extend it by one more like that. And perfect. Hey, TV man. I bet you didn't realize that she had a visor on her head. Uh, no, speaker man. I actually realized that and I just built it. Wait a second. What? Oh my gosh, you're such a copycat. How am I a copycat? You're literally the one that's losing this thing. No, dude, I'm not gonna lose this thing. You know what? I'm fed up with you saying that. Guys, earlier I mind that lucky block and I got all these chickens. So you know what? I'm gonna 
that go over to this base, I'm going to release him on them. And he is going to get so upset. Well, here. TV man, I have a present for you, dude. You have a present for me? Uh, okay, it better be something good. Yeah, sure is. It's your favorite food ever. Oh, uh, okay. What's my favorite food ever? It's chicken. Take that. Oh, chicken. It's so cute. Wait a second. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> that's what you get, TV man. Hey, speaker man, that's not fair. You're not allowed to sabotage him. Oh, uh, speaker man, why did you do that? Well, did you really make me mad? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to give revenge on you. Give me that lucky block. Hey, 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 stop it, dude. Oh, my gosh, okay. Well, I'm going to head back to my base. Please do not come over, okay? We can end the beef already. No, we're not going to end the beef. Take my ketchup. Bro, oh, my gosh. Stop spraying ketchup on me. That's what you get, speaker man. Now, never come anywhere close to my base ever again. Oh, my gosh, dude, okay. I won't come back for a while, but, guys, honestly, after I'm dead extending her head, <laughs> I think I'm going to come over to his base and prank him again because we're literally in a prank war right now. So, you know what? I'm just going to go down here and, oh, my goodness. I literally just fell into the void, but wait a second. I have balloons. Let's go. Well, this is kind of awkward. I guess I have to just fly up to camera woman's head again. And I made it up. All right, perfect. Well, now that I'm back up, I can extend her head, but wait a second. This is literally taking forever, huh? Maybe there's a way to make faster. it faster. Let me think. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure inside of the lucky block, there's a special one that can make this process go 10 times faster. So, you know what? I'm going to mine it real quick and let's see. Hopefully, I get it. Come on, come on. Give me the magical building one. Come on, come on in. Wait a second. I literally just got it. Speaker man, what is that on your hand? Well, camera woman, I'm glad you asked. This is literally the magical building one. So I can literally click here and then click here. And then I can press slash on set dirt. And look at that. The whole entire ground just turned into dirt. Oh my gosh, you just ruined the one heart. But that is pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Well, here. I think I can undo. So let me do slash slash undo and perfect the one heart back to how it was. And you know what? I'm going to head back to your beautiful head. I'm going to start using this wand. All right, I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. Yeah, me too. It's going to look so amazing. Well, I'm going to build up just like this. And I honestly think this is too long. So I'm going to mine backwards real quick. And this should be long enough right here. So let me place one block right there and one right here. And let me select a position. And then I'm going to select one more up here. And perfect. Now, if I use the command slash slash that bedrock, then the whole entire wall turns into bedrock. And look, that literally sped up everything so fast. So now I barely even have to build it anymore. Hey, speaker man, look at my build. I have already made a one-to-one -one replica of camera woman's face. Hold on, dude. Wait a second. I forgot to build all of her eyes. Oh my gosh, obviously you forgot to build her eyes. Because you don't even care about her. Bro, what? Are you serious? I obviously care about her. Yeah, but it seems like you don't even care enough to build her eyes. Dude, that was just an accident. Come on. Oh my gosh, guys. He's really making me mad. You know what? After I finish this pillar right here, though, I'm gonna head over to his base and I'm gonna prank him even more. Well, here, let me go down real quick. Now I have to extend this all the way back to the other side. Just about here. Now I can right click and I can set this as bedrock. Well, my camera woman head is coming along so amazing. But look at your speaker, man. That thing literally looks so trash. It literally just looks like a gigantic cardboard box. Dude, it is not a cardboard box. Come on. Oh, I can't believe he's saying that. You know what? I literally am about to finish it. So let me set this as bedrock one more time. And perfect. Now I'm literally gonna go to his base and I'm gonna prank him so much. So let me just walk to the middle and, uh, dude, I'm literally coming back over. And this time it's not to give you some chickens. Okay, speaker man, uh, what are you gonna give me this time? Well, dude, I'm gonna give you an explosive pumpkin. Wait a second, what the heck? Hey, what is that for? Get out of here. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, 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 stop hitting me. Okay, okay. But that's what you get. Oh my gosh, speaker man. Why do you do that? You know what? I'm done playing games. You better watch your back, buddy. All right, yeah. Keep on saying that, dude. And guys, that is a prank successful. Well, here. I'm gonna head back to my base so I can start working on camera woman's beautiful face. And to finish her face, I have to add all of her eyes. So let me get the blocks real quick. And now I can start working on it again. Oh boy, do you have a few minutes? left until I judge your builds. Wait a second, a few minutes left? I'm not even close to being finished. Wait a second, what? You only got a few minutes left, I literally just finished your face. And I still haven't even built the inside yet. Well, you better get to work, I'm judging soon. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Well, guys, this is bad, I only got a few minutes left. So I gotta start working on the inside, but well, hold on, I literally don't have any blocks to make the inside bright. So I have to go back to the lucky block real quick, and I have to keep on mining it, and hopefully I, wait a second, uh, TV man, what are you doing, what is that? Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh! Oh my gosh! Dude, what was that for? That's what you get, speaker man! I'm going to sabotage you and make sure you don't finish your build. Oh my goodness. Well, dude, I'm almost done. I just need a few more blocks from the lucky block. And after I 
get these blocks. I can literally start making the inside of my beautiful build. Oh, here. I think I just got the white blocks. So now I can head back to my base and I can light up the inside. Hey, speaker man, take this. Wait a second. What is that? Ouch. Dude, stop pranking me. Haha, ha, I'm going to make sure that you never finish this build. Oh my gosh, dude. Whoa, wait a second. Where do you even go? Up uh, behind you and I'm going to let out a stinky fart. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. That stinks so much. I got to get out of here. Dude, oh my gosh. I got to get out of here too. Guys, you only got two more minutes left. Come on. Two more minutes? Are you serious? And he farted in my build so Oh my gosh. You're literally pranking me so much. And that's two more minutes that I get to prank speaker man. I am not going to let you finish your build, speaker man. All right, dude, whatever you say. Well, I'm almost done. But I need some blocks so I can finish the inside, so I got to minus one block again. And hopefully I get the blocks I need. Come on, come on, come on. And perfect, I did. So now that I have these blocks, I can go back to the base, and I can finish up the inside of Camera Woman's beautiful head. Well, right here, I'm going to add a humongous couch, so Camera Woman and I can sit on it. And right here, I'm going to add a TV as well. And this is turning out so good right now. Oh, speaker man, I have a present for you again. Bro, another present? Let me finish this. I only have like one minute Left. Nope, dude, I'm not gonna let you finish this fart again. Ha ha. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get you. All right, yes, speaker man, come and get me. Uh, where do you even go, dude? I'm right here. Take this. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? You just made me fly. Ha ha, you are never going to finish your build, speaker man. I'm gonna win camera woman's love. Boys, only 30 seconds left. Hold on, 30 seconds. Can you add some more time to that, please? No can do. Finish fast. Hurry up. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I haven't even made our bed yet. Well, here, let me play that real quick and i got so much stuff i need to add as well well the bed is finished now so i have to add the upstairs floor come on come on i have to make a whole humongous floor i'm gonna add so much stuff up here but wait a second i literally got like no time so i have to speed around this fast boys you have five seconds left wait a second five seconds i didn't even finish my build wait what you didn't finish oh my gosh well look at this i just finished the second floor i gotta add something up here quick but oh my gosh i think the time is up and boys your time is up come to the middle so i can start judging your build oh my god Goodness, okay. Well, honestly, I think my camera woman built a super duper good. It looks like a one-on-one -one replica of your face, so I swear I'm gonna win this. Oh my gosh. I was so busy pranking Speaker Man, making sure that he didn't finish. I didn't even finish my own build. Well, my camera woman actually looks way better than yours, Speaker Man, so I still think I'm gonna win this thing. Yeah, right. Mine literally looks like a one-on-one -one replica of her face. All right, boys, stop the arguing. Now it's time to judge. All right, camera woman, well, who's basically gonna judge first? I am gonna go to TV Man's first. All right, perfect. You're just saving the best for last. Oh, wait, you're going to my base first? Oh. Okay, okay. Well, uh, here is my camera woman. It is an exact one-to-one -one replica of your face, and I also have camera turrets outside to defend us. Wow, it looks so beautiful! Yeah, it sure does. Well, follow me inside, and, uh, I didn't really finish anything in the inside because I was so busy pranking Speaker Man. But here is a bed, and a bed is basically all we need. Because all we need to do is sleep. And we also have some chests right next to the bed just in case we need to eat some beans. Oh my gosh, dude, that stinks! Ew, what was that? Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I kind of forgot that you were here, camera woman. Oh my gosh, dude. That smells a little stuck in my speakers. Wow, TV man. I think this looks so amazing. I love all the blue. Well, thank you so much, camera woman. I'm glad you like it. I give you a nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten? Are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Speaker man, your house better be better than his. Yeah, trust me, it is. Oh my gosh, guys. We literally got a nine and a half out of ten. Well, honestly, I'm confident that my build is going to beat him. So let's go to my build and, and camera Camera woman, welcome to your face. Uh, what the heck am I looking at? Oh, uh, your beautiful face. This looks hideous. What did you do? Yeah, this does not look like camera woman at all, dude. You are definitely gonna lose this thing, speaker man. No, dude, trust me. Uh, I'm gonna win this, okay? Well, guys, let me show you around inside. Okay, the inside is, uh, nice, I guess. Yeah, I know. Well, here, there's a little humongous couch right here where we can watch TV at. And there's also a bed in, uh, ignore the room above us because I did not have time to fill that in. Uh, speaker man, why is it so dark in here? I can barely even see anything. Thing. Bro, what do you mean? There's literally lights right here. You must be blind or something. Yeah, it is a little gloomy feeling. But I do like the TV and the couch. But pink is not my favorite color. I thought all girls like pink. No, dude. She is little Carol and she likes blue. Oh my gosh, why did I not think of that? Yeah, speaker man, it doesn't seem like you know me very well. Well, guys, I know who the winner is. Let's go back to the one heart. All right, camera woman, guys, hopefully it's me. Because I swear this build looks just like her face. Well, let's go back to the one heart and camera woman, who is the winner? Okay, drum roll, please. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Please be me. The winner is TV Man. 
Dad. Yes, yeah. I knew I won. Wait a second. I thought you just said Speaker Man. Oh my gosh. I would never choose yours in a hundred years. What are you serious? But we're meant to be together. Please do not kick me off the one heart. Well, actually, I had changed feelings. I like TV Man more. See, I knew I would win, Speaker Man. And that's why I built this one heart just for you, camera woman. Oh, I love you so much, TV Man. I love you too. Mwah. Bro, are you serious? Well, Speaker Man, before you go, we want to give you a nice special treat. A special treat? Oh, okay, what is it? Yep, just turn around and look at your house. Oh, uh, all right, what is there? And watch it get exploded! Wait a second, what the heck? Yeah. Why are you destroying my house? Wow, this is so amazing. Because it looks hideous. Oh my gosh, I just spent so long on that. Well, Speaker Man, it seems like you have to get off the one heart now. Hasta la vista! No, wait, what the heck? Ah! Oh, where am I right now? Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, we're literally stuck in a one heart together. Oh, uh, wait a second, TV Woman. Did you build this one heart? Uh, no, I didn't, did you? No, I didn't. Well, then who did? It is I. I built the one heart. Uh, TV Man, why did you build this one heart? Yeah, dude, that's kind of suspicious. Well, because I wanted to have some relaxing time with TV Woman. Because I'm really, really in love with her. But I don't know how you got here, Speaker Man. Yeah, me neither, honestly. Well, TV Man, I don't really like you. I like Speaker Man more. So, could you leave this one heart? Wait a second, you don't like me? Uh, no, sorry. What do you mean, TV Woman? I literally built this one heart for you. Well, I didn't ask to be on this one heart. Yeah, me neither, dude. And I like Speaker Man more than you, so how about you just go back home? What? No. I want to fight Speaker Man for your love. Move out of the way. Bro, what? Are you serious? Fight her for my love? Yep, I will do anything for her love. Now here, take this. Oh my gosh, dude, are you serious? Hey, boys, don't... Oh, uh, that's what you get. Okay, dude, calm down. We cannot fight like this. Well, how about we fight a different way? And how are we supposed to fight a different way, Speaker Man? Oh, uh, well, honestly, I'm not really sure. Wait a second, guys. How about we have a build battle? Hold on, a build battle? Honestly, that's not even a bad idea, TV woman. Yep, whoever wins gets to be my one true love, but whoever loses gets off the one heart. Wait a second, so that means I could be your one true love? If you win, yeah, but if you lose, you're out of here, TV man. Oh, okay, at least I have a chance to be your one true love. Well, TV woman, what? What are we even supposed to be building? Well, since the day is all about me, how about you build my TV head? Build your TV head? Honestly, that's not even a bad idea, TV woman. Well, wow, that's such a great idea, TV woman. I just love you so much. I just want to kiss you right now. Hey, yo, calm down, dude. Yeah, calm down. And you guys should start getting the building. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Well, uh, let's get the building then. I'm going to break this one block. No, I am, dude. I need to get all the blocks that I need to build her beautiful head. Oh, my gosh. Okay, whatever. Well, I'm going to win this thing, Speaker Man. You're going down. You're going to get off this one heart once and for all. Yeah, right. Hey, bucko. Well, I think I just got all the blocks I need, so let me see. I got my black blocks, my gray block, and my white block. So, TV woman, now I'm gonna start building your head, and you know what? I'm also gonna build the inside of your head, and I'm gonna make it awesome. Okay, I can't wait to see. Yeah, me too. Well, here, let me get started. So, what I have to do is battle super duper far like this, because her head is gonna be massive, just like the beautiful one she has right now. And honestly, I think this is a good enough length right here, actually. Uh, no, I'll be shorter than some just like this. And perfect, now I can build out some just like that. And this is only the start of the head is just the base right now. But I'm gonna have to build the whole entire head after this and even the inside. Well, here, the base is done, so now I gotta fill in the floor real quick so I don't fall into the void because I really do not want to lose this challenge. Well, Speaker Man, you're gonna lose anyway. Boy, stop! Fighting. No, I won't stop fighting until I get your love, TV Woman. And Speaker Man, you better watch your back. <laughs> uh, dude, what do you mean by that? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. All right, guys, that was kind of suspicious. You literally told me to watch my back. Hopefully, it does nothing bad. Well, here, I almost finished my floor, so now that I've finished the floor, I can literally move on to the walls of the head. And her head is gonna look so amazing. Okay, okay. Well, but now let's get started. So I'm gonna build up just like this, and it's gonna be super duper tall. And then I have to outline the head again. Wait, why? I just fell. Oh my gosh. Well, here, let me go up again. And I'm just gonna build straight just like this. And perfect. One side of the outline is complete. Oh, Speaker Man, wow. Your TV is looking really amazing so far. Wait a second. This is it really? Thanks a lot, TV Man. Yeah, no problem. Well, uh, I have a surprise for you. Do you want it? No way. A surprise? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, sure. All right. Well, look at this. Take my ketchup. Oh, dude. What the heck? Why are you spraying ketchup all over me? Hey, stop it, boys. No ketchup words allowed. Get over here, Speaker Man. Oh, dude. Are you serious? You literally didn't even start building your TV head yet. And I just ran into the 
destroyed. Oh my gosh, you just got pranked. Uh, you boys are so childish. Yeah, TV Man really is. You know what? I'm going to get you back. Trust me. Yeah, whatever you say, Speaker Man. Well, I'm just going to head back to my base real quick. And guys, soon after I finish outlining all these walls, then I think I'm going to go over and prank him. It's going to be so insane. Well, here, let me build a pillar up real quick. And huh, I think this is tall enough. So let me build over just like this. And now I got to go over to the right and build just like this as well. And perfect. The outline of TV Woman's beautiful head is complete. So here, let me build over to the middle again. I have to keep on mining the lucky block until I get something to prank him with. So let's see, huh? What do I have? Wait a second. I think I just got the best prank item ever. I literally just got chickens. So you know what? Okay. I'm just going to walk to this base real quick. And, uh, Honestly, dude, I don't want to fight with you anymore. You don't want to fight with me? Watch your dough. So that's why I brought over a peace treaty. A peace treaty? Uh, okay, what is it? Well, come down here and see, dude. Uh, all right. It better not be anything that you're trying to prank me with. No, it sure isn't. Well, here. It is a chicken. Okay, here we go. A chicken? Wait a second. Uh, what's happening to me? Ah, uh, there's a chicken chasing me. Oh, my gosh. That is what you get, dude. Hey, why do you do this? Hey, get away from me. Ah! Chickens attack TV man. No, stop attacking me. I'm literally going to die. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Wait a second. No, chicken. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. TV one my beloved. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. What did you just do, Speaker Man? You guys better be sorry. You literally just killed me. Yeah, get these chickens away. Bro, chicken. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. These chickens are crazy. Yeah, they sure are. Hey, TV Man, you just killed me. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. You literally ruined everything good. Bro, you started it. Well, you literally just killed TV Woman, dude. Well, actually, no, I didn't, dude. The chicken's dead. Yeah, whatever you say. Get out of here, Speaker Man. Hey, what the heck was that? Did he just strike me with lightning? Yep, I Sure did. And you better be prepared because this isn't over. All right, dude, whatever you say. Oh, guys, I'm going to get back to work on building the TV head. So what I'm going to do is start building her face just like this. I'm going to build it out of gray clay. So I have to build all the layers like this. And I have to keep on going across. And once this is complete, her head is going to look so amazing. All right, boys, I'm going to start checking on your build. Wait, what? You're checking on our builds already? Uh, okay. Old TV woman, how do you like my build so far? Uh, I look very boxy. Very boxy? Are you serious? Yeah, I think my head's more of a rectangular shape. Bro, what? Okay, whatever. Well, TV Woman, honestly, you're just gonna have to deal with it. What? Are you serious? Ugh, all right. Well, trust me, it's gonna look better than it is right now. Because I still have to build your beautiful eyes in your mouth. So, you know what? I'm actually gonna do it right now. I have to build it just like this and like this. Going all the way down. And perfect. Wait a second. Okay. That is not perfect at all. So, I'm just gonna delete it real quick. And, uh, TV Woman, do not look at your beautiful face, please. All right. I'll just wait until you're finished. All right. Thanks a lot. Well, wait a second. I literally just finished. So, you can look now. All right. And, whoa, that looks so good, Speaker Man. Does it really? Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, TV Woman, can you come over here? I have to look at your beautiful face for a second so I can uh, make your face. Oh my gosh, you guys are so flattering. Bro, you're such a sim. Says you, Speaker Man. Well, here, let me just do this, just like this. And perfect. This looks amazing. Uh, bro, what even is that? That doesn't look like your beautiful face. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, no, it doesn't, TV Man. Are you saying I have a big mouth? Wait, what? Uh, no, I'm not saying you have a big mouth. This is literally just her face. Dude, are you serious? Why do you have to be so mean to her? Speaker Man, you know I'm not being mean to her. Now, you can either do this the easy way or the hard way. Get away from my build or you're gonna get it. Oh, uh, okay, dude. Okay, dude. I'm sorry, but I'll be back later on. Trust me. All right, dude. Whatever you say. Wow, guys. TV Man is super duper weird. Well, here. I'm gonna get back to building TV Woman's beautiful head. And after I build all these walls, I'm gonna start working on the interior. And this is gonna look so awesome. I'm gonna have multiple floors and stuff. I bet you she'll love it. And I'm gonna win her love. Oh, Speaker Man, it seems like you got a good wall going on over here. Oh, hey, TV Man. Yeah, I sure do. Well, uh, here. Let me help you out on building it, okay? Just uh, stand still real quick. Uh, all right, dude. And take this. Wait a second. What is that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> dude, you literally just shocked me into the void. That's what you get. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this right now. You know what? After I'm finished building these walls, I'm going to get back at you. Yeah, keep on saying that, dude. I have way more pranks up my sleeve. Oh, my goodness, guys. I can't believe that. He literally shocked me into the void of the impulse grenade. After I finish this one wall right here, I'm going to go to his base, and I'm going to fill it up with TNT. I'm going to destroy it all. Well, here, let me stop talking. I gotta finish this wall real quick. And perfect. Now it's time for me to take revenge on him. So, you know what? I'm gonna head to this base right now, and I have a special kind of TNT that's gonna do a massive explosion. So, uh, hey there, TV man. I have something for you, buddy. Oh, hey there, speaker man. I have something for you also. All right, well, what is that? Well, I'll show you what it is after you get out of my base. Dude, I'm not getting out of base. You know what? You won't even have a base for much longer. Take this. Wait a second. What are you doing? Hey, get over here now. Oh, my goodness. I I literally just blew up his whole entire TV woman head. No, my precious TV woman head. <laughs> That's what you can't do. Uh, how could you do this? Hey, what the heck is that? Why are you chucking frogs at me? Hey, stop it, guys. 
No, take that. Ow, dude. That really hurt. Hey, what the heck? It just made me jump into the void. Yeah, that's what you get. Now I have to rebuild my whole entire TV woman head. I was literally going to win this thing. Yeah, right, dude. Well, my TV woman head isn't even being close to finish. Maybe I can go mine that lucky block and maybe it can give me like a magical wand that can speed up my process while you're here. Let me just mine real quick and come on, give me something good. And wait a second. Oh, I just got to build one. No way. All right, boys, you have five minutes left, so get ready to be just. Wait a second. Five minutes? I haven't even finished all the walls yet. Oh, my gosh. I got to finish this stuff fast. And thankfully, I got the build wand just in time, so it should be able to help me. And yes, I already finished rebuilding TV Woman's head. Wait a second. You already finished doing that? Oh, my goodness. Well, I still have to finish building all these walls real quick. And uh, wait a second. What even is the command to build the walls? Oh, my gosh. Maybe it's slash slash set. Bedrock. Let me see. And oh, my goodness. This is not. What could it even be? Uh, speaker man is literally slash slash set, not slash set. Wait a second. Slash slash set? Are you serious? Okay, here. Let me do this real quick. And oh, my goodness. The wall literally just filled itself in. That's awesome. Nice. Now you'll be able to finish your TV woman head. Yeah, I know. This is so awesome. Well, here. Let me do that again. Slash slash set. Bedrock. And look at this wall. It is literally filled. Nice, dude. It's about time. Wait a second. Uh, TV man. What are you even doing here? Well, the time is almost up and you're almost done your build. So I just wanted to come over and give you a housewarming gift. A housewarming gift? For, are you serious? What is that in your hands right there? Oh, you know. It's just some can of beans. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. That stinks so much, dude. You just farted everywhere. Ha ha. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you. That housewarming gift literally stinks. But uh, I really wish I could get back at him. But we barely have any time left. And I really need to win this thing. Let me click here and I have to go to the other side so I can set the other position. Then I can set this out of bedrock. I think slash slash set bedrock. And perfect. I set the whole entire roof of bedrock. So now her head is basically complete. But uh oh. I still have to do the whole entire inside real quick. Guys, there's only one minute remaining. Hold on, wait a second. One minute? Oh my goodness, I think I'll only be able to make one floor to this place. What? I'm not even done the inside. Oh my gosh. I should have been pranking Speaker Man this whole entire time. I literally just wasted so much time. <laughs> That's what you get, TV man. Well, honestly, I think I can finish the inside in one minute. Well, here, let me build the bed real quick, and this looks awesome so far. And then TV Woman said, I also need a couch for us to sit on. So let me build that, and perfect. And finally, I'm just gonna build an awesome TV in here. And after I build this TV, I have to light the place up because it is literally so dark. And perfect. I finished the TV, so let me grab some glowstone real quick and place it everywhere. So now TV one can see inside of her head. All right, boys, your time is up. Wait a second. No, no, no. I'm not ready. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Come out of your houses and stand on the hearth. All right, TV woman. I literally finished just in time. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I finished also. Speaker man, you are going down. I'm going to win this thing, and you are going to get kicked off the one heart. Yeah, right, dude. We'll see after she judges. Oh, well, TV woman, whose head are you going to look at first? Well, how about we look at TV man's head first because he thinks he's going to win. Yep, I know I'm gonna win. Okay, follow me, guys. Let's look at my head. So, first off, here is the head on the outside. Uh, it's not very accurate. Wait, what? How is it not accurate? Yeah, dude, look, she does not have a humongous mouth. And my face is in blue. Oh, uh, well, I just really wanted to put some color into my build. So, uh, I just made the head blue. And about the mouth, I think it looks exactly like your mouth. Alright, well, uh, follow me inside of the build, and here is the build. Dude, are you serious? There's literally only a bed in here with a heart. Aw, uh, it's kind of sweet. Yeah, I know it is. Isn't it so lovely? inside of here. It's very simple. There's just one bed and one heart. Yeah, but where are we gonna eat our food? Well, uh, we can eat the food on the bed if you want to. No, 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 that's gross. Yeah, dude, you literally got like nothing in here. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker man, I can't wait to see what's inside yours. I bet there's less inside of yours than mine. Alright, dude, well, TV woman, what do you write TV man's house? Huh, I rate it a six. A six? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna get a higher number than that. Well, don't worry, it's gonna be a way higher number than speaker man's because speaker man's literally so trash. Yeah, buddy, we'll see about that. Well, Diva Woman, welcome to your head. And look at it. It's literally like a one-to-one -one replica. Yeah, it is pretty close. But let's go ahead and see the inside. All right, yeah, let's go do this. And welcome to the inside. We literally have a humongous TV with a couch right here. Oh, wow, I love this couch. Oh, my gosh, how do you build this all so fast? Well, because I'm cool like that. But wait a second. Why is there a hole in your wall right here? Yeah, what do you mean? There's literally no hole in the wall. Wait, what? You literally just patched it up. Oh, uh, no, dude, I didn't. Well, if you're going to see that hole, then maybe you could see that giant hole up there. Uh, TV Woman, that is... It's just like a sunroof. Huh, okay. I guess I like our sunroof. Wait a second, what? That's not a sunroof. That's like a hole in the wall. He didn't mean to put that there. Oh my gosh. This is really getting me frustrated. Dude, it's literally sunroof, okay? Well, TV woman, let's get back to the tour and look 
at this. This is literally our bed. Oh, I love the color pink. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm done with this. Hey, TV man, where are you going? I don't want to look at his trash build anymore. I'm just going to sit and wait at the heart for me to win. All right, well, you won't be sitting there for long because now I'm going to tell you who the winner is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to win this TV woman. Right, you're literally not going to win. I'm going to be the winner of this. Okay, boy, stop arguing. I'm going to tell you the winner right now. All right, TV woman, it better be me because I am going to be your one true love. And we are going to kick this speaker man off of this one heart. Well, TV man, it seems like we're not going to be one true love because you have lost and speaker man has won. Wait a second, I won, let's go. Yep, and TV man, go look at your build and watch it explode. Wait a second, what do you mean watch it explode? Uh, literally nothing is happening. Oh my gosh, wait a second, I stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. TV man, your whole entire TV would have just exploded. No. TV woman, how could you do this to me? I was your one true love. I built this heart for you. Well, it seems like you didn't win, and now you're getting kicked off this one heart. Wait a second. No. Oh, my gosh. That is what he gets. This build was so trash. Yeah, it sure was, and you're my one true love. Mwah. Oh, Speaker Man, this date is going so good. Honestly, I'm really starting to like you. What? You're starting to like me? Oh, honestly? You're pretty funny, so I'm starting to like you, too. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe this right now. It's like we're a match from heaven. Uh, okay, whatever you say, Speaker Woman. Well, Speaker Man, I have a question for you. Oh, uh, okay. What is it? Will you will you date me? Oh, my gosh. Speaker Man. Wait a second. What the heck? TV Woman, what are you doing and here? Now, why are your eyes full of hearts? I am your biggest fan, Speaker Man. What? You're my fan? Hey, you aren't his biggest fan. I'm his biggest fan. No, I am, Speaker Woman. Oh, uh, no, I am. No, I am. And I'm going to kiss him. Mwah. Whoa, what the heck? Why did you just kiss me? Oh, my goodness, Speaker Man. Are you cheating on me with her? No, I don't even know why she kissed me. Yeah, right. I was a little bit asking if you wanted to date me. You know what? I'm out of here. See ya. Wait, no, Speaker Woman. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Uh, TV Woman, what is wrong with you? Why would you kiss me directly in front of her? And we aren't even dating her or anything. Well, because I'm your biggest fan. And I will do anything for your love, Speaker Man. I'll even shoot someone. Bro, what the heck? You'll shoot someone? Oh, my goodness. You're literally my crazy fangirl. Yeah, I know I am, Speaker Man. Well, come here and give me another kiss. No, no, no. I'm not going to give you another what? kiss. I got to get rid of you. What? You got to get rid of me? You can never get rid of me, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, really? I can't. Well, uh, here, trust me. I will by the end of the day. No, Speaker Man. There is no way that you can get rid of me. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Put down the gun. No, I won't. Now, go on a date with me. Go on a date with you? Oh, my goodness. I really want to get rid of you, though. Oh, man. I guess I'll go on a date with you, but after the date, you have to promise that you'll leave me. Because you literally ruined my relationship with Speaker Woman. Well, Speaker Man, after our date, I'm not going to leave you. Instead, I want to go back to your house. Bro, what? You're going back to my house? What the heck? Now, come on, Speaker Man. Follow me to the date or I'm going to shoot you. What? You're going to shoot me? Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, I guess I have to go on this date with her. Well, trust me, by the end of the day, I'll literally get rid of her. Hey, what are you saying back there, Speaker Man? Uh, nothing. Let's go on the date. And welcome to our date. I can't wait for you to be my boyfriend. What? What? Be your boyfriend? What the heck? Yes, now go ahead and sit down right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll sit down. Yeah, that's what I thought, Speaker Man. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that this is happening. TV woman, why are you my crazy fangirl? Because, Speaker Man, I'm just crazy in love with you. And I am your biggest fan. I want to marry you so badly. And trust me, Speaker Man, I will do anything for your love. Bro, what? You want to marry me now? You are so crazy. Hello there, guys. Welcome to Brooks Diner. What would you like to eat? Oh, hello there, mister. I would like a cheeseburger, and I want you to get him a love potion. Wait, what? You want him to give me a love potion? All right, a love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, that is on the special today, so I guess I'll get you that. Bro, what? No, no, no. Take that off the list. Are you sure you don't want a love potion? It seems like your girlfriend wants you to drink it. Bro, this isn't even my girlfriend. This is TV woman. She is my crazy fangirl. Well, okay, I'm sorry, miss, but no love potion today. No love potion today? What did you just say to me? Oh, put down the gun, TV woman. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I will get him a love potion. Don't worry. Your cheeseburger is coming right off. Yeah, that's what I thought. And Speaker Man, when you drink this love potion, you are going to be so in love with me. And I am not going to be your crazy fangirl anymore. I'm going to be your girlfriend. Bro, I'll be my girlfriend. Oh, man. What have I gotten myself into? Okay, guys, here is your cheeseburger, and here's the love potion. All right, Pookie Bear, drink up. Uh, honestly, I do not want to drink this. Speaker man, I said drink it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Put down the gun. Hey, lady, put down the gun or I'm calling the cops. No, I'm not going to put it down until Speaker man drinks the love potion. Well, I'm not going to drink the love potion, so, uh, hey, mister, please call the cops on her. All right, I'm calling the cops right now. What did you just say? Did you say you're calling the cops? 
cops? Yup, and you're gonna get arrested. No, I'm not gonna get arrested. I'm getting out of here. Speaker man, come with me right now. Wait, what the heck? Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, Mr. Tell the police man to chase us, please. All right, I will. And on TV woman, where are we gonna go? Now we're gonna go to your house so I can give you so many kisses, Speaker man. What? Give me kisses? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. But wait a second. Did you even drink that love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I think I did. <sighs> okay, you better have. And if you didn't, then I'm gonna have to use this gun. Uh, okay, well, good thing I drank the love potion. All right, Speaker Man, well, let's just go back to your house. Come on. All right, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> TV woman, we're at my house. Yes, finally. Now we can have some alone time, Speaker Man. Uh, okay, well, I'll meet you upstairs. Hey, guys, this is so bad. Hopefully that guy actually caught the police on her, and hopefully the police men are gonna be here soon. Oh, Speaker Man, where are you? I'm ready to watch some TV. What? Watch some TV? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And I'm gonna give you so many kisses. Kisses? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just sit right over here. What, Speaker Man? Sit right next to me. Come on. No, TV woman, I'm not gonna sit next to you. I'm sorry. I said sit next to me. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I will sit next to you. I'm sorry. And now it's time for me to kiss you. Hello, police, open up. Oh my gosh, the police got here just in time. Um, wait a second, where are you going? I didn't kiss you yet. Please help me, please. TV woman is a crazy fan, girl. I need you to get rid of her. Man, put the gun down. Uh-uh, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Police Man. It's not what it seems. I was just about to kiss Speaker Man. Nothing else was gonna happen. Yeah, that's a lie. Because I heard from someone that you're making Speaker Man do stuff by threatening him with a gun. What? No, that's not true. Oh, Mr. Police Man, it is true. And right before he got here, he literally put the gun on me again. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. You're getting arrested. What? I'm getting arrested? No, hey, let go of me. Yep, this is what you get. Now you're going to jail, and you're gonna be locked there forever. Wait a second. No, Speaker Man, let me get a kiss before I get arrested, please. Uh, no, TV woman, you're a crazy fan girl. And you're gonna stay in jail for the rest of your life. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, I will be back. Don't you worry. Wait, what? You'll be back? Yes, I will, Speaker Man. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. That did not sound good at all. I think she's literally gonna break out of jail. And honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. I have to get rid of her once and for all, but how? Huh? Let me think. Wait a second. What if I went to the tank store and I bought a tank and if she came back to me, I could literally run her over. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Maybe after I run her over, then she'll stop being my crazy fangirl. So you know what? I'm gonna head to the tank store right now and I'm gonna purchase a tank. Perfect, I made it to the tank shop. So, uh, hey there, mister. I would really like to purchase a tank. All right, what tank would you like to buy? The green one or the green one? Uh, well, let me think. Well, I think I only see the green one, so how about the green one? All right, perfect. Well, that will be about $10,000. Wait, what? $10,000? Oh, my goodness. Yes, $10,000. What do you expect? I'm giving you a discount. Oh, man, all right. Well, I really need the tank, so I guess I'll buy it. Here you go, mister. All righty, thanks a lot. The tank is yours. All right, perfect. Thanks a lot, mister. And guys, now that I have this tank, I can drive it back to my house, and I'm just gonna set it up right outside so I can protect myself. So let's go. Wait a second. What the heck? Yes, I finally found a way to escape my jail cell. Now it's time to go back to Speaker Man's house. Wait a second. Uh, hello? TV woman? It is literally me in this tank right behind you. Wait a second, Speaker Man. You have a tank? Yeah, I have a tank. I literally just bought this so I can run you over. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. You bought this tank so we could destroy the city together? No, I bought this tank so I can run you over to hopefully make you stop being my crazy fangirl. Why do you want to run me over? Over? Yeah, I sure do. And you know what? I'm gonna do it right now. Wait a second, Speaker Man. No. Ha ha ha. This is what you get. Oh my gosh. What happened to me? Oh my goodness. I think it actually worked. Oh, hey there, TV woman. Are you still my crazy fangirl? Oh my gosh. What happened to me? Well, TV woman, you were my crazy fangirl. And you were super in love with me. Oh my goodness. I should have never drank that love potion. That's probably why I was so in love with you. I'm so sorry, Speaker Man. And wait a second. Why do I have these orange clothes on. Uh, because you literally got sent to the prison because you kept pulling guns on oh me. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. I am so sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go home now. Bye. Uh, see you, TV woman. Wow, Pomni, what flavor of ice cream is that? I got bubblegum. Bubblegum, oh my goodness. I have the best joke for this. Really? Uh, all right, what is it? Oh, Pomni, why can't agents risk eating bubblegum ice cream? Uh, why? Because they can't risk blowing their cover. <laughs> oh my gosh, Speaker Man, that's so hilarious. Yeah, I know, I'm so funny. Wow, Speaker Man, that was so hilarious. Jax, are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. That was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. Well, I thought it was hilarious.
hilarious. Yeah, at least someone likes my joke. All right, well, I'm just going to go get my ice cream then. All right, Jax. Uh, Jax is so boring. I don't really like him anymore. Wait, what? You don't like Jax? Isn't he literally your boyfriend? Yeah, but he doesn't know how to have any fun. Oh, uh, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and you can make me laugh, Speaker Man. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm super duper funny. Well, I was thinking and wondering, do you want to be my new boyfriend? Wait, what the heck? You want me to be your new boyfriend? You're literally cheating on Jax? Yeah, but don't tell him. What, are you serious right now? Omni, I cannot believe that this is happening. You're literally cheating on Jax right behind his back. Shush, Speaker Man, be quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Guys, I got my ice cream. What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, nothing, Jax. Actually, we were talking about something, and it's very important. It's very important? Uh, okay, what is it? Uh, well, Jax, I like Speaker Man a lot more than used to. He's gonna be my new boyfriend. Wait a second, what did you just say, Pomni? Uh-oh. So you're cheating on me? Uh, kinda, I guess. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. I'm sorry, Jax, but I just don't like you anymore. You're not funny like Speaker Man is. Oh my gosh, Pomni! You really made me mad. Wait a second, Jax, where are you going? I don't know, I'm going somewhere. Oh my goodness, okay. Pomni, this is kinda bad. Yeah, it sure is. I didn't expect for him to react like that. Well, how did he really expect him to react? You literally just told him that you're cheating on him. Well, I thought he was gonna be like, okay, bye, but he seems super duper upset. Yeah, he sure does. Well, hopefully he doesn't take revenge on us for you cheating. Yeah, I hope he doesn't. Well, Speaker Man, what do you want to do now? Well, Pomni, honestly, I was thinking about going to the pool. Ooh, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, I know. Well, here. The pool is right over there, so let's go. And we're gonna have such a blast. Okay, I'll be right there. I just gotta change into my bathing suit. Uh, okay, Pomni. And honestly, guys, I could not believe that that just happened. Pomni literally just cheated on Jack's right by his back. And I really hope nothing bad happens. Well, I'm just gonna hop in the pool right now. It's Geronimo. Oh, God, the water feels so nice today. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, I'm here. Geronimo! Wait, Pomni, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was so much fun. This water is so refreshing. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Pomni, do you want to play a game in here? Yeah, let's play Marco Polo. All right, I'll go first. Okay, my eyes are closed. All right, Pomni, well, I'm gonna go right over here. She won't even be able to get me. Okay, Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Uh, Speaker Man, why do you sound like that? Uh, Bobney, that's not me. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, Jax, what are you doing with the sword? Wait, Jax is here? Hey there, Pomni. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, uh, hey. There, Jack. I just wanted to let you know that because you cheated on me, you better watch your back. Because I'm getting revenge on you, Pomni, and you are not ready for it. Uh, Jax, put down the sword, please. That's scaring me a bit. No, I'm not gonna put down the sword, and you guys better be prepared. Hey. <laughs> oh, uh, wait a second. What the heck just happened? Pomni, that is super duper creepy. Yeah, it sure it's Jax is gonna take revenge on us now. Yeah, he sure is. Oh, no. Pomni, this is so bad. I honestly think that we should get out of the pool, and maybe we should go hide in my house. Yeah, that's a good idea, and hopefully he he doesn't come there. Uh, yeah, hopefully he doesn't. Well, here, let's go back to the house. Uh, and quick, get inside my house. But wait a second. What in the heck? It seems like I have a new neighbor. And that neighbor has a castle? That's kind of strange. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, man. Okay. Well, Pomni, let's just go inside my house so we can hide. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Oh, hey there, Pomni. I've been expecting you. What the heck? That's Jax's castle. Yup, and I'm coming in. Wait, wait, no, 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 Jax, you cannot come inside. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Ah, uh, get this bag off my head! Hey, Jax, where are you taking her? I'm taking her to my castle for revenge. Wait, what? In your castle for revenge? Oh my goodness. Cause this is so bad. Jax literally just kidnapped Pomni. And I have to save her. Oh man. We're out to somehow get inside of this castle. Wait a second. The front door is literally locked. Are you serious? Oh my goodness, I can't believe this right now. Well, here. I'm gonna have to check all around the house and hopefully there's a way for me to get in. Oh, speaker man, where are you? You're next. Wait a second, you just tell him next. Oh, no. This is not good at all. Okay, okay. Well, let me see. Is there any way for me to get in? Oh, my goodness. The front door's literally the only way. Oh, speaker man, where are you? Oh, my goodness. And Jax literally just walked out the front door. Okay, okay. Now it's my time to run in and he's going inside my house. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Where is Pomni? Huh? Well, she's not in this room and she's not in the living room. Oh, my goodness. I really have to fight her quick because if I don't, Jax is literally gonna come back and he's gonna spot me. Maybe she's upstairs. Oh, uh, no, she's not even upstairs. Are you serious? Oh, man. Well, I think I saw a basement. So I was gonna go downstairs. And maybe she's inside of there. Well, here, let me go down real quick and look. The entrance for the basement is literally right here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go down real quick and oh, my goodness. This is so scary. Hey, Pomni, are you here? Yes, I'm down here, Speaker Man. He trapped me in a room. Wait, what? Pomni, quiet down, okay? What room are you even trapped in? I'm trapped in this cell right here. Wait, 
Wait, what? You're literally out of the cell. Oh, my goodness. Are you all right, Pomni? Yeah, I'm all right. It's just kind of cold in here. Well, here, I'll be trying to get her out real quick. Oh, my goodness. The door's literally locked. I can't get you out, Pomni. Oh, no. This is so bad. Hey, what is all that ruckus coming from downstairs? Pomni, I think that was just Shaq's. Okay, okay. I gotta hide real quick. Well, let's see. Is this a good hiding spot? And no, I don't think it is. Well, let me check over here. And oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. This is the best hiding spot ever. Hey, Pomni, who are you talking to? Oh, I'm just going a little crazy in here, Jack. So I'm talking to myself. All right, Pomni. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you better not get any ideas of escaping here. Because this is what you get for cheating on me. Oh, don't worry. I love my cell. And Jax, quick question. How did you get a castle this fast? Oh, Kane just teleported this castle here. What? Kane did this? Oh, my gosh. Yep, he sure did. And you're going to be trapped out here forever, Pomni. But I need to go find your friend, Speaker Man, because I don't know where he really went. Well, good luck inside your cell. Oh, Jax, you're so mean. Pomni, I'm literally right here, okay? Well, I'm going to have to try to get you out of here. Because you're literally stuck in a way in a second. There's a little humongous axe on the table, so maybe I can use this to open your cell. Wow, Speaker Man, you're so smart. Yeah, I know. Well, here, let me grab it real quick. And now I can try to open the door. All right, Pomni, stand back. All right, Speaker Man, get me out of here. All right, Pomni, I'll try. Well, here, let me try real quick. And oh, my goodness. I think it's working. Let me see. Ready, set, open door. And oh, my goodness. The door literally open. You can escape now, Pomni. Yeah, you saved me, Speaker Man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Mwah. Wait a second, Pomni. What in the heck? Why did he just kiss me? Because, Speaker Man, you're my new boy. Wait a second, what did I just hear? Uh Oh. There you are, Speaker Man. Get over here. Oh, no, Jax. I'm sorry. Run! You guys are both going to pay for cheating on me. And you know what? I'm locking the door. Oh, no. This is bad, Pomni. We got to find a way out of here. There's no way out of here. You guys are trapped here forever. Ha, 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 ha. Jax, you literally went insane. I know I went insane. You should have never cheated on me, Pomni. But wait a second. Uh, where are you guys going? Pomni, quick, run up these stairs. We got to escape from the room. Well, it seems like that room is locked also. Now, what? are you gonna do? Are you gonna go back to a dungeon and be a good girl and boy? Or are you gonna meet my sword? Okay, Jax, calm down. I think what we're gonna do is run even more. Yeah, get out of here, Jax. Hey, I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh my gosh, get over here. Bobby, come on. Wait a second. This door is locked too. Why are there so many dead ends in your castle, Jax? You're meeting my sword now. Oh my gosh, run. Oh my gosh, he's literally crazy. Yeah, he sure is. Oh no. Let me use my axe and let me try to chop down the front door. I'm perfect. The door can open now. Oh, my gosh. Run out quick. Wait a second. Where are they going? Hey. How did you open the door? Get over here. Oh, no. He's coming inside the house. Quick, lock the door. Hey, wait a second. Let me in. No way, Pomni. We literally just escaped out of his castle. That was crazy. Jax, I'm so sorry for cheating on you. But I think that was the best option after seeing what you did. Oh, Pomni, I'm sorry. I'm just really jealous that you cheated on me because you were my one true love. So, you know what, Pomni? Here, I got you these. Will you please be my girlfriend again? Please. No, Jax. You literally trapped me inside of a castle. I didn't even know you had a castle. Wait a second. So, you're not going to come back to me? No way. Not even a million years. You know what? I'm done, Pomni. I'm going back to the Amazing Digital Circus, and you're not allowed there anymore. And you can just stay here with your boyfriend, Speaker Man. And me and Kane will be the only ones at the Amazing Digital Circus. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Bye, Jax. And Pomni, now Jax is gone. And I can't believe that you cheated on him. Honey, I'm home. Oh, hey, Speaker Woman. Welcome back home. You want to watch some TV, honey? Oh, yeah. Right now I'm watching Pig, so yeah, I guess we can watch TV together. All right, perfect. I love this show. Yeah, me too. Oh, hey there, honey. Do you want to watch some TV? Wait a second, Speaker Woman. <laughs> Didn't you just ask me to watch TV? Wait a second. Are there two of you guys? What? Who are you? What? Who are you? I'm Speaker Woman. No, I'm Speaker Woman. Whoa, 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 guys. This is super duper weird. Why are there two of you guys? Oh, my gosh. I don't know what this fake Speaker Woman is doing in my house. House. I am not the fake speaker woman. Guys, one of you guys have to be the fake speaker woman. Because I do not have two girlfriends. Well, speaker man, who do you believe? Who do I believe? Well, you guys literally look the exact same and sound super duper similar. So honestly, I can't really tell. Well, then who do you want to be your girlfriend? Bro, how am I supposed to know? You guys are all the exact same person. We're going to have to do something so I can figure out who's the actual speaker woman. All right, well, I'll do anything because I'm the real speaker woman. No, I am. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so confusing. You know what? We're going to have to play a game and I'm going to have to figure out which one 
showing me you guys are real. I'm gonna put you through challenges that only the real speaker woman can do. And whoever completes the most challenges is gonna be my real girlfriend. Oh, well, I better win these challenges because I'm your real girlfriend. No, I'm his real girlfriend. Guys, guys, calm down. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna start the first challenge right now. For the first challenge, whoever comes back with my favorite food first gets a point. And whoever has the most points at the end of the challenges is my real girlfriend. Oh, all right. I know what your favorite food is. I'll get it first. No, I will. All right, guys, and you're off. And honestly, I'm gonna follow one of you guys to see if you're getting the right food. All right, follow me because I am the real one. Nah, honestly, I'm gonna follow Speaker Woman 2. Uh, all right. Well, Speaker Woman 2, where are we going? We're going to the grocery store to get you a big pizza. What? A big pizza? Really? Uh, okay, that may be my favorite food. And Speaker Man, look, pizza. Oh, pizza. Awesome. Well, Speaker Woman 2, I'm gonna go figure out where Speaker Woman 1 is and I'm gonna check up on her. And Speaker Woman 1, where are you? Oh, hey, Speaker Man, I'm in the ice cream shop. Oh my gosh, the ice cream shop. Uh, all right. Well, what ice cream flavor are you gonna get me? Well, um, I was actually thinking bubble gum because I really feel like you like bubble gum. Actually, uh, no, I don't feel like you like bubble gum. I know you love bubble gum. What? You know I love bubble gum? Uh, all right. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm pretty sure both of you guys have chosen your food, so let's go ahead back to the house right now. And then I'll give a point to whoever has my favorite food. And guys, I'll be sitting upstairs in the living room, and I want both of you guys to come up here and present your food to me. All right, speaker man, here is your favorite food, bubble gum ice cream. All right, bubble gum ice cream. Thanks a lot. Well, that may be my favorite food, but first, let's see what Speaker Woman 2 has. So, Speaker Woman 2, come up here. Hey, Speaker Man, here's your favorite food. Oh, pizza. Yeah, pizza's pretty yummy. Well, guys, if you want me to be honest, I think the winner has to be number two. Yay, I knew it. What? Are you serious? You always love bubblegum ice cream. Bro, I do not love bubblegum ice cream. But I literally saw you eating it yesterday. Uh, okay, whatever. Well, it seems like I failed challenge one. But don't worry, Speaker Man. I am your real girlfriend. I am going to win the rest of the challenges. All right, Speaker Woman 1. I'd like to see it. Well, guys, you know what time it is now? It is time for the next challenge. All right, what is it? Well, for this challenge, you guys are going to have to take me to the, my favorite place in the world on a special day. Oh, this is going to be so easy. I know the exact place we can go. Yeah, me too, Speaker Woman. All right, guys. Well, who wants to take me on a date first? Me, 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 me. All right, all right, Speaker Woman 2. I guess I'll go on a date with you first. And guys, by the way, whoever brings me on the best date gets another point. Huh, my date's gonna be better than yours. Okay, we'll see about that. Come on, Speaker Man, let's go. All right, and Speaker Woman 1, get ready for your date. And to start off our date, I got horses that we can ride to our special spot. Wait, what? You literally got us horses that we can ride? This is awesome. Yeah, it sure is. Well, where's our date even gonna be at, Speaker Woman 2? Well, follow me and I'll show you. Uh, all right, I really wonder where this place is gonna be, and hopefully it's my favorite spot ever. And look, we're almost here. No way. Are we gonna have our date on that yacht right over there? Uh, no. We're gonna have it on this nice little picnic I prepared. Bro, are you serious? A small, tiny island? Oh, uh, all right. Well, I'm sorry, Speaker Man, but I'm not rich and you know that. Yeah, I guess I do know that. Well, Speaker Woman 2, what do we do now? Well, we can just sit in our chairs and eat and watch the clouds. Bro, watch the clouds? Really? The clouds aren't even moving. Well, you can imagine what shapes there are, maybe. No, honestly, I can't. And Speaker Woman, I'm not gonna lie, this date is kind of boring. Why would I just sit on the beach and not even go for a swim. Well, you can go for a swim, but we just got some food. Oh, is that food? Let me look at this and wait a second. Are you kidding me? This is none of my favorite food either. Well, you already had pizza today, so I thought we should try something new. No, if you were my actual girlfriend, you would know that I eat the pizza majority of the time. Yes, I know that. That's why I got so many different foods, Speaker Man. And I thought this would just be a nice date, just the two of us, but I guess it's not, so I'm leaving. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, see ya. And guys, honestly, this date was kind of boring, and she didn't even bring me my favorite food ever. Well, here, I'm gonna have my horse. I'm gonna head back to the house. I wonder what day Speaker Woman 1 has planned for me. And I'm already back home. It seems like Speaker Woman 2 is already here as well. Well, I'm gonna head upstairs and hello, Speaker Woman 1. It is now time for your date. So, where are you even gonna bring me? Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. I've been thinking about this date for the whole entire day. I'll show you where I'm gonna bring you. Follow me. Uh, okay, Speaker Woman 1. Hopefully, this date is better than Speaker Woman 2's. Oh, trust me, Speaker Man. It will be way better than hers. And look at this. We are going to ride this to the dates. No way. A bright red motorcycle? That looks amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I know it doesn't. You get to drive it. No way. I get to drive this beauty. Holy mackerel. Thank you so much. Well, um, how about you go ahead and go to the beach? Bro, on the beach, really? Oh, all right. I'll go back to the beach. Wait a second. Why don't you like the beach? Because this beach right here is so small and tiny. Oh, well, I wasn't talking about the beach. I was talking about that yacht right there. Wait a second. We're going on this humongous yacht right here? Yep, we sure are. So hop in the water and swim over. No way.
way. This is awesome. And look at this beautiful yacht. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so happy that it's just me and you. Yeah, I'm so happy that we're on a yacht right now. This is awesome. Look at this whole entire thing. Whoa. And if we go up here, here are the controls for the yacht. And in the front, there's like a balcony. No way. Can we get up here? Yep, we sure can. And we can sit on these chairs. And it's so relaxing and beautiful. Yeah, it sure is. <sighs> I love being on a yacht so much. Yeah, I know you do. That's why I picked it for our perfect date. But the date's not over yet. I got you a present. No way. You got me a present? On top of this yacht? Oh, my gosh. What is a present, Speaker Woman 1? Well, here you go, Speaker Man. How about you open it? Uh, all right, yeah. I'll open it. So let's open it. And <laughs> no way. It's a new cell phone. Yep, it sure is, Speaker Man. I cannot believe it. You literally got me this yacht and this cell phone. You are the best, Speaker Woman 1. Yeah, I know. I would love to see Speaker Woman 2 try to top this. I bet her date was so bad. Our date was way better. And that's why I'm the real Speaker Woman. Yeah, honestly, this day was much better than hers. Well, Speaker Woman 1, we still have a lot more challenges to do, so she can maybe still beat you. Uh, all right. Well, let's go ahead back to the house so I can decide whose date was the best. And we're back home, and guys, I now have to tell you whose date was better. And whoever had the better day, I have to give a point to. So I'll start off with Speaker Woman 2. Speaker Woman 2, you had a pretty good idea. You took me to the beach, but I didn't like any of the food at all. What? That's not fair. I'm literally your girlfriend. All right, whatever you say. Well, Speaker Woman 1, I like that date 1,000 times better than hers. Because we went on a yacht and she got me a cell phone. See, I knew it would be better than yours, Speaker Woman. What? I'm literally too poor to get him any gifts. He knows that. Well, Speaker Woman 2, the real Speaker Woman would have gotten him a gift. And I am the real Speaker Woman, so I got him a gift. Well, it seems like we both have one point. Yeah, but honestly, Speaker Woman 2 is kind of speaking fast. Because I know my girlfriend is super duper broke. Hey, why are you calling me broke? I'm not calling you broke. You literally got me this iPhone and brought me to a yacht. Well, I'm your girlfriend. All right, well, I think we'll see after the challenge, guys. And for the challenge, you guys are going to have to buy me a car. Oh, I can totally afford that. What? I can't afford a car. Well, it sucks for you. Well, guys, you can start getting me a car now. All right, I'll get you the best car ever. All right, I want to see it. Speaker man, I'm literally too broke to get you a car. I'm your girlfriend. Trust me. I mean, yeah, my girlfriend is kind of broke. Well, I still need you to buy me a car. So go ahead now and go buy me a car. And I'm going to see what Speaker Woman 1 is going to buy me. So let me hop on this horse right here, and I'm going to follow her. Hey, guys, look, Speaker Woman 1 is walking in right now. I wonder what car she's going to buy me here. I'm just going to spy on her real fast. Oh, hey there, car skibbity. I would love to buy a car. All right, but we only have one car in the shop right now, and it's a Bugatti. No way, a Bugatti. Oh, my gosh, a Bugatti. Are you serious? Can I go see it? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Follow me. All right, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, I actually might buy this car. No way. She's going to buy me a Bugatti. That would be so insane if she does. And, oh, my gosh, it's red. Speaker Man's favorite color is red, so this is the perfect car for him. Yep, it sure is, but it costs $1 million. Do you have $1 million? $1 million? Uh, yeah, I have $1 million. All right, perfect. Well, go inside, and we can pay. No way, $1 million car. That would be so insane if she actually bought it from you. Well, Car Skibbity, here is the money. All right, thank you so much. The car is now yours. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man is going to love this car. And I'm going to be his girlfriend. Wait a second. She just said she's going to be my girlfriend. That's kind of weird. But the car is nice, so I'm going to head back to the house. And wait a second. Speaker Woman 2 is already here. Hey, Speaker Woman 2, where's your car? Oh, um, well, like I said, I don't have a lot of money, so I can't afford a car. But I already know that Speaker Man has a perfectly fine car, so he doesn't need another one. Well, look at this. I just bought my boyfriend a Bugatti. And it's red. It looks so amazing. And I got you some red roses to show you how much I love you. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Speaker Woman 2. Well, I'm the one that actually got him a real car, which means I'm his real girlfriend. Well, he knows that his real girlfriend cannot afford a Bugatti. So you got him some puny flowers? Are you serious? Well, he loves my puny flowers. And they show that I love him more than a car. Oh, guys, I really like your Bugatti. I really love your flowers. Well, Speaker 1, I have something to tell you. Oh, my gosh. What is it? Did I win? Uh, no. Because I was spying on you on my horse when you were buying the car. And then you said, I cannot wait until Speaker Man becomes my boyfriend. Or something around those lines. So that means you're not my girlfriend. And Speaker Woman 2 is my real girlfriend. What? Are you serious? I cannot say that. And look, I literally just bought you this new car. It was literally a million dollars and it's red and it's so beautiful and you don't even want it. Well, honestly, I want it, but I know that my girlfriend is super duper poor. And she can never afford a Bugatti. So therefore, Speaker Woman 2 is my real girlfriend. See, I told you I was your real girlfriend. Yeah, I'm sorry for not believing you, Speaker Woman. Oh, wait a second. Speaker Woman what? Who are you? Oh, my gosh. Dang it. I almost tricked you, Speaker Man. But I'm still keeping this car. Bye-bye. No, no. I want the car. Oh, my gosh. Well, Speaker Woman, at least I have you. Well, the way I met TV Woman was I was being super-duper strong at the gym. <laughs> 
yeah, I remember that. Well, Speaker Man, do you remember how you met TV Woman? Well, huh, let me think real quick. Oh, I got it. It went just like this. All right, class, welcome to your first day of school. Today, we are going to be doing the first day of school quiz for your math test. Oh, I cannot wait for this. No one asked, Red Boy. Wait, what the heck? My name is not Red Boy. My name is literally Speaker Man. Uh, whatever. All right, class. Well, now it's time to pass out your math test. So go ahead and take this paper, and then we can get started. Uh, all right, Mr. Teacher, and I'm going to win this math test. Uh, no, I'm going to win. All right, class, settle down. Everybody focus up. This is going to be the hardest math test you will ever have in this class. So make sure you do your work by yourself and you answer all the questions. And while you guys are doing this, I'm going to go on my lunch break. Oh, all right, Mr. Teacher. Hey, dumb red kid, what are all the answers? Bro, what? Did you just call me dumb red kid? I am not dumb, but I am a red kid. And I'm not giving you the answers. What? But why not? Because they're literally so sassy and weird. But the teacher's literally not in the classroom. Just give me the answer. Nope, I'm not going to give you the answers. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm done with this test. I'm leaving. Wait, what the heck? Why are you leaving? The teacher's going to get so mad at you. Uh, I don't care what the teacher says. Oh my gosh, if he catches us, we're literally going to be in so much trouble. Are you okay? It's why are you out of the classroom? You're supposed to be taking your test. Well, Spiderman said that we could leave. Wait, what? No, what the heck? No, I'm a good student. I would never leave the class. Ah, uh, Speaker Man, are you lying to me? What? No, Mr. Skibbity. Why would I be lying to you? I literally have the math test right here. Well, I had to stop doing it because this dumb girl literally ran outside. What? No, I did not. You dragged me outside. All right, you know what, Speaker Man? You're going to the principal's office. Come on. Bro, wait. What the heck? No, no, no. Mr. Skibbity, I don't want to go. Bye-bye, uh, dumb red kid. Oh, my goodness. I did nothing wrong. Yes, you did do something wrong. You left the class without finishing your math test. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that this is happening. She literally dragged me out there. And by the way, Mr. Skibbity, she literally wanted to cheat off me for the math test. Yeah, whatever. Keep making up lies. Dude, it is not a lie. You know what? I'm getting out of the school right now. See ya. Wait a second. You can't leave. Hey, get back here. Too bad, Mr. Skibbity. I'm done. You're not allowed to leave the principal's office. Mr. Skibbity, he ran out the door. Well, TV woman, I guess you can go home also. See you later. Thank you, Mr. Skibbity. Have a great day. Guys, my first day of school literally went terrible, and I hate that girl so much. Wait a second. Why is she coming towards me? Hey, what are you doing? Well, my house is this way, so I have to walk home. Well, my house is this way also. Oh, really? Where do you live? Oh, I live on Brookhaven Avenue. What? Same here. Wait a second. Are we neighbors? Uh, I hope we're not. I don't want to see you anymore. Yeah, I don't want to see you. You're literally so sassy. Well, my house is right here. And my house is right here. What the heck? We're literally neighbors. Oh, this is so annoying. Yep, it sure is. I cannot believe that this is happening. Oh, my goodness, guys. That TV woman is literally my neighbor. I cannot believe it. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go upstairs and I'm going to chill. So I'm just going to lay in my bed and I'm going to stay here for the rest of the night. Hey there, little girl. Give me your bike. Uh, no, this is my bike. Wait a second. What is going on? I think there's someone at TV woman's house. Hold on. Wait, what the heck? Is that bully toilet? No, come on, little girl. Give me your bike. No, move. I got places to be. Well, you're going to have to go to those places walking because I'm taking your bike, little girl. Ah, uh, give me my bike back. Hey, Skibbity Bully, stop it right now. Bullying is bad. You should not bully this girl. And who do you think you are? Oh, uh, dude, I'm literally Speaker Man. You've literally bullied me before. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Well, that bike was looking really delicious, so I decided to take it. And she's not getting it back anytime soon. Bye-bye. Wait, what? No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry that he stole your bike, TV woman. I mean, I guess that's what you get for being sassy and stuff. <laughs> my bike, my daddy got me that. Can you help me get it back, please? I'm sorry for being sassy. Bro, after everything you did today, you want me to help you get it back? Yes, please. But Bully Toilet literally has your bike. I need my bike. Oh, my goodness. You know what? All right, TV woman, I'll help you under one condition. You got to promise me that you'll stop being sassy, all right? Uh, all right, I guess. All right, good. Well, TV woman, now I will help you get your bike back. Well, where should we even start? Well, do you know where he lives? Because maybe he brought his bike back to his house. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure Bully Toil literally lives across the map. Oh, really? Well, let's go get my bike back, and hopefully he doesn't catch up. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't, because if he does, something really bad will probably happen. And TV woman, I think there should be his house right up here. Wait a second. Shh, be quiet. I literally see him right up there. He's riding your bike inside of his house. Oh, that bully is so mean. Let me go get my bike back. Boy, TV woman, shh, be quiet. No, 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 no. If he sees you, he'll literally beat us both up. Hey, fat bully, give me my bike back. No, TV woman, don't. Oh, look who it is. It's TV woman. Oh, really? Is it me? Uh, yes, it's you. You're literally right in front of my face. Well, give me my bike back. That's not yours. It's mine. No, I'm not giving you this bike back. I took it from you, little girl. Oh, my gosh, bully toilet. Please give her the bike back, please. And why should I do that? Well, dude, I literally do not want anything bad to happen, okay? So just give her the bike back, and then we can just leave. Well, stupid red boy, I'm not giving the bike back. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, stop 
hitting him! <laughs> oh, that hurts so bad. Uh, uh, take that! Ha ha ha, little girl. Those hits don't even do anything. You're never gonna take me down, and you're never gonna get your bike back. What? Are you serious? Speaker Man, wake up! We gotta go get my bike back! Oh, uh, my head hurts. Oh, uh, come on, get up! Oh, oh my gosh, okay, okay, I'm up. What just happened? Did I just get knocked out by that fat guy? Yes, the big bully knocked you out. Oh my gosh, and uh, by the way, why are you even here? I kind of forgot. Like a second ago, weren't you sassy? Yeah, I was, but we're friends now, so we have to get my bike back once and for all. Come on, let's go. What? We're friends now? I thought we were enemies. Uh, well, it turns out that you're not so bad. Uh, all right, well, let's go get your bike back. All right, yeah, let's figure out where he is. Yeah, let's go. And TV woman, this is the first place that we're going to check the ice cream store, so let's see if the bully's in here, and let's see. No, the bully's not in here. I don't think anyone else is in here either. Well, while we're here, do you think we should steal some ice cream? What? Steal some ice cream? Uh, maybe, yeah. I guess we can. So here, I'm going to steal some birthday cake, and mm, this is so delicious. Uh, hello there, guys. What are you guys doing inside the ice cream store? Uh, what the heck? Who are you, little kid? I'm the owner of the ice cream store. Uh, how are you an owner? You're literally a baby. Yeah, you're legit a baby in a diaper. Well, because I'm actually a millionaire. Now, hey, you guys aren't allowed to eat the ice cream. You guys have to pay for it first. Well, dude, get it if you can, because you literally cannot. You're so tiny. No, I'm not tiny. I'm little Timmy. Wait, what the heck? Now, get rid of that ice cream. Oh, I want the ice cream, though. I've had such a bad day. I don't care if you've had a bad day. You need to pay for the ice cream. Oh, my goodness, little kid. We cannot pay for the ice cream. We're searching for a bully. Do you happen to know where he is? Uh, the bully? I've actually seen the bully before. He usually comes here. And he actually came a few minutes ago to get his ice cream, and then he said he's going to, like, a red guy's house, but I don't really know who that is. Wait a second. A red guy's house? Huh? Who could he be talking about? Uh, Speaker Man, he's literally talking about you. Wait a second. I'm the red guy, and wait a second. He's at my house right now? And if he's at your house, he must have my bike there. Oh my gosh, yeah, he probably does. Well, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Yep, good luck. Hopefully you guys don't get beat up, because I know he's super duper strong. Yeah, he sure is, and hopefully we get your bike back, TV woman. Yes, I hope we do too. Well, let's go to my house, and let's figure out what he's doing there. Hey, TV woman, we're at my house right now, but honestly, I did not see this bully anywhere. Yeah, I know. Where could he be? Oh, I'm not really sure here. Let's check upstairs real fast, and wait a second. Holy toilet! What are you doing inside my house? <laughs> your house is gonna get destroyed. Dude, stop it right now. I don't want my house to get destroyed. You're yeah. never going to get this bike back. <laughs> no, dude, come back here. Oh, my gosh. TV one, come on. We gotta get your bike back. Yeah, you big bully. Get off my bike. No, I will never get off your bike. See you, suckers. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. TV woman, we lost him once again. We gotta get your bike back soon. Because if not, something bad's probably gonna happen to your bike. Yeah, I don't want my bike to get broken. That would really suck. Yeah, sure would. Well, TV woman, I guess we have to search for him again. And this time, I think we need to find someone that can help us. So, wait a second. Let's go to the police station. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go. So, let's go inside. And hey there, Mr. Policeman. We need you to help us badly. Well, hey there, guys. What seems to be the issue? My bike was stolen by a big bully. What? Your bike was stolen? Uh, okay, do you know his name? Yeah. His name is literally Bully Toilet, and we need your help getting it back. Well, okay, his name is Bully Toilet. Do you know where he lives? Oh, uh, yeah, he literally lives on that trail park, like, all the way over that way. Okay, well, we can send a cop over there and get your bike back. But it's gonna take a few hours, because we really don't have any police cars right Bro, now. Bro, what? Are you serious? A few hours? We don't have a few hours. Yeah, what if something bad happens to my bike? Well, guys, there's not much I can do. I'm sorry. It's either you guys wait a few hours, or you go get it yourself. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe it, Mr. Policeman. You literally got one job, and that's to help people. Well, TV woman, I think we're gonna have to go back to the bully's house. We're gonna have to try to take it for ourselves again. Yeah, and hopefully this time we don't get beat up. Yeah, hopefully we don't. Well, let's go to his house. And speaker woman, we're back at his house, but wait a second. Before we go there, we gotta make a plan to get your bike back. Yeah, we sure do, but what are you thinking? Well, how about this? I can distract him and you can go steal the bike. Oh, that's not a bad idea, but look at him. He's burning my bike right now. Wait a second. He's burning your bike? Oh my gosh. We gotta act fast. Go, go, go. Ha, ha, ha. No one will ever get this bike. Hey, Mr. Bully, stop burning my bike. Oh, look who it is. It's TV woman. You're never gonna see this bike ever again because I'm going to burn it into ashes. Oh, Mr. Bully, you're not going to burn this bike. Hey, what? why do you put out my fire? I was going to burn it. Ha ha ha, that's what you get. And now, Bully, we're going to take her bike back. Yeah, we sure are. Yeah, uh, take this. Oh. Oh my gosh, we literally got your bike back, TV woman. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for getting my bike back. Now we have to get out of here before he wakes up fast. Yeah, we sure do. Let's go. And guys, that is how TV woman and I met. Well, that was a great story. I remember that like it was yesterday. And 
And this potion turns you into a bird. And once again, thank you so much for testing my potion. Yeah, no problem, Skibbity Toilet. Well, here, let me just drink this on up. And yo, huh, this tastes kind of weird. And whoa, what am I feeling right now? Is this love? Wait, what? Love potion? Uh, I thought this was the bird potion. Oh, no, wait a second. Did I give you the wrong potion? Uh, I'm in love with the speaker woman. Oh, phew. Thankfully, you're not in love with me. Well, uh, hey, please get out of my secret lair. Okay, Skibbity Toilet. And guys, I am so in love with the speaker woman. And I honestly want her to marry me. So, you know what? I'm going to find her. I'm going to ask her to be my girlfriend. And I'm going to do everything I can to make her love me. And I'm here. Hello, speaker woman. Are you home? Uh, hello. Who is it? It's me, speaker man. And I have a super serious question to ask you. Uh, what is it, speaker man? Well, will you, will you, will you marry me? What? No. Huh? Are you serious? Why won't you marry me? We're just friends. Speaker man, you already know that. What? Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, can you be my girlfriend at least? No, I'm sorry, Speaker man. You're acting so weird. What happened to you? Honestly, I'm just in love with you so much. But you know what? Since you don't want to marry me and you don't want to be my girlfriend, I'm going to try everything I can to make you fall in love with me. Uh, please don't. It's not going to change anything. Oh, trust me, it will. Because this is super bad. She does not want to marry me and she does not want to be my girlfriend, so I have to figure out what her favorite things are. And maybe if I give her her favorite things, that it will make her fall in love with me. Okay. Well, uh, maybe she likes some pet animals, so I'm gonna head over to the pet store and I can buy a pet animal. And now I'm at the pet store and, uh, oh, okay, this place looks kind of sketchy, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna buy a pet. So the speaker woman will love me and, uh, hey there, are you a pet seller? Uh, yeah, I'm a pet seller. Do you want a pet? Uh, yeah, what pets do you even sell? Well, we sell cats, dogs, dogs, cats, and dogs. Oh, all right, well, can I buy a dog, please? Sure, you can buy a dog. You can pick out whichever one you want. Uh, all right, well, this one looks kind of cute and this one looks... Okay, that's pretty scary. And wait a second. This dog looks beautiful. Hey, how much is this dog right here? I want to buy him. Oh, that dog is the most expensive one. But you can buy him for $50. $50? No way. All right. And here you go, Mr. Dog here. Come with me. Your name's going to be Smoofles. Woof, woof, yay. And all right, Smoofles, I'm going to be giving you to my friend, Speaker Woman. And Smoofles, are you ready for this to be your new home? Woof, woof, yes. All right, perfect. Wait, what? You're walking inside? Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. What is this rat? Rabbit beast doing in my house. Uh oh, okay. This is not good, guys. I think she just called Smoofles a rabbit beast. Oh my gosh, how'd you get in my house? Woof, woof, woof. Uh, help me. Uh oh, okay. This is bad. Uh, Smoofles, stop it, buddy. You know, Speaker Woman, where are you? Speaker Man, you're just in time. This rabbit beast just broke into my house. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, okay. Smoofles, stop it. And I'm sorry, Speaker Woman. This is the new dog that I bought for you. And I wanted to surprise you with him because I thought if I surprised you with a pet dog, then you would be my girlfriend or you would marry me. Speaker man, I already said I'm not interested in you. I'm so sorry. Come on, there must be one thing that I can do to get you to marry me. Well, there is one thing. Wait, really? Oh, uh, what is it? For you to get out of my house. What? Are you serious? And I will keep this dog. Woof, woof, woof. No, not the dog. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, trust me, I'll get you to fall in love with me. I think I was falling in love with this dog before yeah, I fall in love with you. What? Are you serious? Oh, man. Guys, this sucks. Wait a second. I think she just said she would fall in love with that dog before before she fell in love with me. So what if I dress up as a dog? And maybe after I do that, I can sneak into her house and then she'll love me. No way. Okay, guys. This is the best idea ever. So I'm gonna go find the costume man and I'm gonna buy a dog costume from him. Huh, let's see if he's back here in this alley. And oh, hey there, Skibbity Costume Man. Oh, hey there, young traveler. Are you looking for a costume? Uh, yeah, actually I am. Do you have a dog costume by chance? A dog costume? Let me go look in my bag real quick. And let me take a look and it seems like I do have a dog costume for you. No way. Do you actually... Actually, all right. Well, how much would it be? Well, are you a first-time customer to my shop? Uh, yeah, I actually am. All right. Well, it seems then it will be free. Free? Holy macro. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Skippy Costume Man. I cannot wait to put it on. Yep, no problem. It will make you look like an amazing dog. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Skippy Costume Man. So here, let me change real fast, guys. And whoa, look at me, guys. I'm literally a dog. And honestly, I think this is going to make Speaker Woman fall in love with me. So I'm going to head back to her house. And I'm going to pretend to be a dog straight at her door. All right, guys. I'm at her house right now, so I have to walk like a dog. And perfect. Okay, here, let me knock on the door. Woof, woof, woof. Is anyone home? Oh, this better not be Speaker Man knocking on my door again. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Can I come inside? Oh my gosh, why is there another dog at my door? Oh, hey, can I come inside, woof, woof? Uh, I guess 
so? Well, Doggy, what's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Speaker Doggy. Wow, you're very muscular. Yeah, I know. I train in the Olympics. Well, Speaker Doggy, would you like something to eat? Oh, uh, yeah, I would like your whole entire fridge, please. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. I have to feed Snuffles. What, uh, Snuffles? Who is, uh, Snuffles? Snuffles, come here, boy. Meet this new dog. Woof, woof, woof. Uh, hey there, Snuffles. Uh, Snuffles, what are you doing, buddy, woof, woof? Oh, it stinks. What, the doggy stinks? Maybe he needs a bath. Come on, doggy, let's go upstairs. What, are you serious about the, uh, okay, yeah, woof, woof. Guys, I cannot believe I snuck into the house and she's already getting to like me. Maybe my plan will work and she'll fall in love with me. Okay, let me just go in the bathroom and woof, woof, woof. Okay, speaker doggy, get in the bathroom. Woof, woof, woof. And, uh, this is going, I mean, woof, 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 woof. Uh, I didn't know doggies could speak English. Uh, woof. I guess you guys went to a doggy school or something. Yes, yes. Well, let me clean you off real fast. And guys, I have something to tell you. Woof, woof, woof. I think I like speaker man. Wait, what? I mean, uh, woof, woof. Yeah, I think I like him. I mean, he is the reason I got Snuffles. And at first, I didn't like Snuffles. But now, Snuffles is my best friend. Well, do you like me? I mean, uh, woof, woof. Well, speaker doggy, your shower is done. And yeah, I guess I like you too. Let's go. I mean, woof, woof, woof. Uh, you're acting a little strange, though. Maybe you should go to bed. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, uh, woof, woof. Come on, Snuffles. It's time for your dinner. Hey, guys, she literally just said she liked me. So maybe I can reveal myself to her later on today. And after I reveal myself, maybe she'll get married to me. Okay, well, here. She told me to go to bed, but I'm not going to go to bed because I want to spend some more time with her. So let me just go downstairs and, uh, hey there. Oh, hey there, Speaker Doggy. Here's some food for you. Okay, thanks. I mean, uh, woof, woof. And, uh, okay, I do not like this food. Oh, well, you don't like dog food? Woof, 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 woof. Oh, uh, hey there, guys. What a funny coincidence it is. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man, you were the dog? Oh, uh, no. I think I just got, like, teleported in your house or something. Get out of my house. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys. And to think I was starting to like you. Speaker woman, I'm so sorry. I just really like you a lot. Now go get the strange love addiction to me reverse. What? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Guys, she literally just told me to get the strange love condition reverse. So maybe after I do that, she'll love me. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to figure out where he's going to be and Maybe he can reverse it for me. So let's think. Where would he be? Well, he's usually at his lab. So I'm going to head there first. Huh, so let me go inside a secret hideout. Hello, Skippy Toilet. Totally. Are you even in here? And no, I don't think he is. Oh, man. Well, let me check down here. And hello. And nope, he is still not here. Uh, well, there's only like one other place where I think Skippy Toilet would be. And I think that's a beach resort. So I'm just going to head there. And hopefully he's there because I really got to turn back into myself so I can get Speaker Woman to love me. So let's see. Hello, Skippy Toilet. Totally. Are you here? Huh? Maybe he's on that yacht over there. Hey, what's up, Speaker Man? Oh, hey there, Skippy Toilet. Totally. I have a favor to ask you. Speaker Man, no kidding can do right now. I'm on vacation. What? But please, it's urgent. Oh, uh, okay. What is it, Speaker Man? Well, can you please get rid of this love potion on me? What? Why? I thought you liked Speaker Woman. Yeah, I do a lot, but she told me to get rid of this love potion. And maybe after I do that, she'll love me for real. Well, I don't really know how to reverse it right now, and like I said, I'm still on vacation. Come on, give me to a Please help me. I need Speaker Woman to love me. Oh, fine. Come on, Speaker Man. Let's go. Wait, really? Holy mackerel. Thank you so much, give me to a I cannot wait to turn back to myself. And hopefully she She'll love me after that. And we're here. Come on. Let's go inside the basement. Okay, it's Kimmy Toilet. Now go ahead and take a seat. Let me look in my potions. All right. And there are the ingredients. Okay. Now what I need you to do is take a bite of this rose petal. All right, Skippy Toilet. Yum, 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 yum. All right, good. And now I need you to drink this drink. All right, Skippy Toilet. Sh and whoa, what is happening to me? Yeah. And whoa, wait a second. I think I'm back myself. Yep, you sure are. And now hopefully Speaker Woman will love you. But why didn't she love you when you had the love potion? Well, I I was so obsessed with her that she kind of got creeped out by it. And she told me to get rid of the love potion, so maybe she'll love me now. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to go back to the resort now. Please do not bother me again. Okay, thanks a lot, Skippy Toilet. I'm going to head straight to her house to apologize to her. And hopefully she'll actually love me once I get there. Now back at her house. Hello, Speaker Woman. Are you home? I want to apologize. Oh, hey, Speaker Man. Are you back to normal now? Yeah, Speaker Woman. I'm back to normal now. I want to say I'm super, duper sorry for everything I did. Don't worry. It's okay. What? Really? Oh, thank you so much much. Well, I have one final question. Can you be my girlfriend, please? Well, honestly, you got me snuffles, so sure, we can try it. No way, yes! Thank you so much for the best speaker woman!
And now it's time for our first prank. Let's fart on Speaker Man. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so funny. Here I go. Oh, that stinks. Hey, now it's my turn. Oh. Oh, what the heck is that smell? Haha, <laughs> give prank. Quick, Speaker Woman, we gotta get out of here. Guys, what are you doing? Oh, they literally just farted straight in my face to wake me up. That smells disgusting. Oh my gosh, that was the funniest prank ever. Oh my gosh, which one of you guys had tacos last night? Oh man, guys, that is so annoying. My best friends literally farted in my face and pranked. Me. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm gonna have to get revenge on them, but how could I do that, huh? Maybe I can pull a prank on them. Well, let me think. What can I do? Oh, I guess I'll think about it later. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, that was the funniest prank in the whole entire world, dude. We literally got you. We farted directly on your face. Bro, why would you guys do that? Because it's such a funny prank. Yeah, and I was the one that had tacos last night. Bro, are you kidding me? Well, guys, I just want to let you know. Be aware because someone is gonna be pranking you today. What, Speaker Man? Do you really think you can prank us? Yeah, you really think you could prank us. We're literally the prank masters and you got pranked. Yeah, guys, honestly, I think I can make 10 times better pranks than you guys. What? Are you serious? Uh, no, I actually think you're lying. There's no way that you could do better pranks than us. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I'm gonna pull off the best pranks ever. And he won't even realize that it was me. All right, whatever you say, take this. What the heck? Speaker man, you didn't even expect us to pour water on you. Bro, why would you guys prank me two times in a row? Because pranks are so much fun. Yep, they sure are. And you're never gonna be able to prank us back. Oh my gosh, you guys are so annoying. And I'm all wet now, so I have to go change my clothes. But guys, I just want to let you know that I'm going to get revenge on you guys. And you won't see it coming. Trust me. All right, Speaker Man, keep thinking that you're going to be able to prank us. Well, me and Speaker Woman are just going to go to our house. See ya. Bye, Speaker Man. See ya, guys. Oh, guys, honestly, I cannot believe that my girlfriend and my best friend literally just pranked me two times in a row. First, they farted on my face, and then they poured water on me. Oh, my gosh. Well, here, I have to go change my clothes real fast. But after that, I think I'm going to go figure out how I can prank them. And perfect. I have my tuxedo back on. Guys, now that I have my tuxedo back on, I think it's time to start the pranking. So I'm going to head down the stairs real fast and wait. Why is there a for sale sign at my house? What? My house is not for sale? Oh, hello there. Uh, who's that speaking to me? Oh my gosh. Who are you? Did you just put my house up for sale? No, I did not put your house up for sale. I saw some people come over and they just put the sign here or something. Oh my gosh. That had to be speaker woman and cameraman. Yeah, it seems like they're pranking you. Are you okay? No, this is literally the third time they pranked me today. And I want to do something about that. I want to pull so many pranks on them so badly. Well, if you pull the pranks on them, then you're gonna get caught. Well, yeah, probably. Unless you have a solution to that. Well, lucky for you, I do have a solution. Wait, what? Really? Uh, what is it? Well, I have an invisibility potion, and you can use it so you don't get caught by your friends. Wait, no way. An invisibility potion? Yep, an invisibility potion. Would you like to buy it? Uh, yeah, sure. If it can help me prank my friends. Alright, perfect. Well, it's only one dollar. Huh? Only one dollar? Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Alright, thank you so much for your money, and uh, let me look inside my potion drawer real quick. And let's see, which which one is the crack potion? No, that's the baby potion. That's the pooping potion. And, and oh, there it is. The invisibility potion. All right, here you go. All right, mister. Thanks a lot. So you're saying if I drink this, I can turn invisible and then I can prank all my friends? Yup, that is correct. But there is a time limit on the invisibility. It only lasts for a certain amount of time. And I don't really know how much time it is because I kind of forgot. Bro, are you kidding me? All right, well, at least I have an invisibility potion. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mystical Man. Yeah, no problem. But make sure to be very careful because it could go out at any second. And I don't want you to get get caught. Okay, bye-bye. Alright, thanks a lot. See ya. Because I cannot believe that just happened. I just bought an invisibility potion. And once I drink this invisibility potion, I can literally prank my friends, guys. So here, I think I'm actually gonna drink it right now, so let's see what happens. And, oh, uh, wait, did anything happen? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I think that guy was scamming me. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that just happened. He came over here, and then he sold it to me for one dollar, so I guess he pranked me as well. Well, you know what? Since I'm already here, I might as well just head to the grocery store so I can get some food. And uh, the grocery store, I cannot wait to get some food, so uh, what should I even get? Well, there's Reese's Bars and Hershey's Bars right here, but uh, I don't like any of those. I like Mr. Beast Bars, but it doesn't seem like they have any, but oh, Doritos, don't mind if I do. And here, let me get a pizza and let's see, are there any beverages I should get? Huh, I can either get uh, water or Coca-Cola. No way, okay, okay. I'm gonna get myself a Coca-Cola. I love this so much. And hello, mister. I would like to buy this pizza, this Dorito, and this Coca-Cola. Yeah, do, 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 do. Uh, hello, mister. Do you see me right here? Uh, I think it's time for my break. I'm just gonna go on break. Bro, are you kidding me? Are you too short to see me? Hello, kid. Wait a second. Is the door even open? Oh, yeah, okay. Bro, hello. Do you see this floating pizza in front of your face? Am I invisible right now, guys? I think I may be invisible unless this kid is deaf 
Oh, hello, kid! Wait a second, why is there a floating pizza? Is there a ghost inside of the grocery store? I gotta get out of here! Uh, okay, well, I guess that proves my theory. Guys, I'm officially invisible. And it seems like this potion worked after all. So I'm gonna head over to my friend's house real fast. And then I'm gonna start all of the pranks on them. And guys, I'm here now, so I'm just gonna walk straight inside of their house. And wait, what, what are they even doing on the couch? So, speaker woman, what prank do you want to pull next? Ooh, I know. We should get his credit card, buy a fake phone, throw it at him, and then when he's mad, we throw more water in him. And when he gets even more mad, then we can throw a birthday cake in his face so there's cake all over his face. Oh my gosh, that is a great idea. And then we can fart in his face. Yes, that'd be so fun. Bro, what the heck did they just say? Oh, man, that's going to be the best prank in the whole entire world. I'm so excited. I am too, but I got to go to a hair appointment first. What, well, speaker woman? Why do you have to go to a hair appointment? You don't even have any hair. Uh, yes, I do. It's just under my head. Okay, whatever, speaker woman. Well, uh, have a good hair appointment, but make sure to come back because we need a prank, speaker man. Don't worry. I will, cameraman. And guys, she's locked to her hair appointment. Wait a second. That just gave me a genius idea. What if I sneak in there since I'm invisible and then I mess up her hair? That would be so hilarious. All right. Well, I'm going to follow her to the hair salon, and I'm going to pull that prank on her. And, oh, my gosh, I cannot wait to get my hair done. Hey, Felicia. Oh, my gosh. Hey, speaker woman. Are you ready to get your hair done? Yes, I am so ready. Oh, my gosh, girl. Your hair is going to slay. All right, girl, but I just want to trim today, though. Okay, girl, don't worry. I'm only going to give you a tiny trim. Okay, thank you, girly. Well, you wait here real quick because I really got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And, guys, Felicia literally just went to the bathroom. So, now I think it's my time to strike. So, here. I'm going to mess up her whole entire hair. This is going to be hilarious, and She's on her fill right now, so she won't even know who it is. All right. Well, here, let me start cutting her hair. And look at the top of her head. Wait, what? Who's touching my hair? Oh, my gosh. Why is my hair green? <laughs> I literally just pranked her. Look at that ridiculous haircut. Felicia, come back. Babes, what's going on? Oh my gosh, what did you do to your hair? I didn't touch my hair. It just turned out like this. What did you do? Uh, I didn't do anything. I was just in the bathroom. Oh no, this is not good. Did somebody break in and do this to my hair then? I don't know, girl, but this hair does not slay. Oh no, this is so bad. Well, uh, I don't really know what to do. I'm sorry. I think we're just gonna have to shave it off. No, not my beautiful hair. I'll just keep the green hair. What, girl? Uh, okay, well, I'm not gonna make you pay. Don't worry, I don't even know what happened. Did you see anybody? No, I didn't. I was busy scrolling on my Finsta. Oh my gosh, girl, this hair does not slay. I'm so sorry. Well, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, girl. <sighs> okay, bye, Felicia. Guys, yes, sir. My first prank went successful. But I'm gonna pull as many pranks as I can because I can't get caught. <laughs> Oh, why are you crying, speaker woman? Hold on, I'm in the bathroom. I'll be out in a second. Uh oh, guys, this is kind of bad. My girlfriend's literally crying right now. I feel bad for her. I'm so ugly. Don't look at me, cameraman. Hold on, speaker woman. Okay, I'm done. Oh, man, I literally just pushed out the biggest poop ever. It was bigger than the Titanic. Well, uh, speaker woman, where are you? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Do you see my hair? Oh, my gosh, what happened to your hair? I thought you went to a professional stylist. I did, and then she went to the bathroom, and then my hair turned out like this. She literally didn't even touch it. Oh, my gosh. Do you have some sort of virus or something? Okay, I gotta stay away. No, I don't have a virus. Then how do your hair become that? Because that hair looks so crazy. Somebody must have done it while I was busy scrolling on my phone. Oh, man, that's so bad. Well, uh, do you want me to shave it off or something? No, I don't want to shave off my hair. Oh, okay, speaker woman. Well, I don't really know any way to help you. I'm sorry. Well, uh, do you still want to pull that prank on speaker man? No, I don't want to do that anymore. My day's been ruined. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're not gonna do that anymore. Well, I guess let's just watch some TV. And guys, they're literally sitting right there watching TV. Clueless that I was the one that messed up her hair. But since they're sitting ducks right now, I think it's time for me to pull another prank on them. But, huh, what should I do? Uh, speaker woman, do you have any desserts or anything like a pie or a cake or something? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me check the fridge. And it doesn't seem like we have any pies or desserts. I'm sorry. Oh, man, I really want some dessert right now. I need something sugary. Wait a second. That just gave me a great idea. What if I went to the store and bought a pie. And after I do that, I come back here and chuck it on his face. That would be such a hilarious prank, guys. So, you know what? I'm gonna pull that off right now. I'm gonna head to the store, purchase a pie, and I'm gonna come back and chuck it directly on his face. So, I'm just gonna go and, oh, look, is that scaredy kid in here again? Well, here, let me see if they have any pies or anything in, huh? I don't see any over here. Well, maybe the kid has some, uh, hello, kid. Do you have any pies? Do you see this pizza? Oh, what the heck? Why is there a floating pizza again? Oh, no, I think the ghost might be back. Well, here, let me try to grab the pizza. Hey, get back your pizza. Hey, hey, this is my pizza, kid. Hey, give me that pizza. Where are you going? No, no, no. This is my pizza, kid. I need a pie. Hey, hey, hey. 
I have trapped the pizza in the corner now. I'm gonna take it. Oh my gosh. I need a pie. Wait a second. Since he's following the pizza, what if I just lead him to the pie and he can give me that? Okay, here. Kid, come directly over here. Hey, wait a second. Where'd the pizza go? Oh, there's the pizza over there. Uh, what are you doing, Mr. Pizza? Where are you going? Kid, pie. I want pie. Uh, pizza, why are you standing over here? Do you want something from the cooler? Yes, I want something from the cooler, kid. Okay, well, I don't even know what this pizza wants. I guess I'll get my ice cream. You want this ice cream pizza? No, no, no. I do not want the ice cream. I want a pie, kid. Okay, well, he's shaking his head, though, so I guess he probably wants this. Uh, this is a pie. Do you want this? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I want that pie. Okay, well, it seems like the pizza just jumped up and said yes, so, uh, I guess he can have the pie. But he has to actually pay this time. Bro, I have to pay our ec -ers. Oh, my gosh. All right. Wait a second. I'm invisible. So that means I don't even have to pay, and he won't even realize I left. So here. Let me just steal the pie real fast, and now I can just get out of here, and he won't even notice. So, guys, I'm just gonna head back to the house right now, and I'm gonna chuck this pie directly on his face. And, guys, I'm back at the house, so I'm just gonna go over here. And hello, cameraman. Can you see me? And no, I don't think he can see me. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go by, and I'm gonna chuck the pie directly on his face. Oh, my gosh. What's on my face? <laughs> I just realized. Uh, cameraman, why do you have a pie on your face? Speaker woman, did you do this? What? No, I've been watching Kitty and Doggy all day. I know you did this, Speaker woman. You literally just put a pie on my face because I literally just asked for a pie. Oh, my gosh. I have to go wash this off. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is hilarious. Hey, I told you we had no pies. Why would I throw a perfectly good pie on your face when we could have ate it together? Because you wanted to prank me. You probably think that I made your hair look like that, even though it wasn't even me. What? No, I don't think that. Well, whatever, Speaker woman. That wasn't a funny prank, though. I'm just going to wash this off. Hey, stop blaming me. Oh, my gosh. They're literally arguing. This is so funny, guys. I cannot believe that. I just pranked the both. Wait a second, Speaker Man. How did you just appear right there? Oh, uh, wait a second. Uh, you guys can see me? Yeah, Speaker Man. How did you just teleport into our house? Oh, uh, hey, guys. Yeah, that's kind of weird. How did I even get here? Wait a second. That was really freaky. The front door is still closed, and you literally just spawned in the middle of nowhere. Oh, uh, yeah. How could that have happened, guys? And wait a second. Uh, what happened to your hair and your face? Wait a second. Did you do this to me? Uh, and did you pie my face? Uh, hey, what's that in your pocket? Uh, nothing. What is this drink? Is this an invisibility potion? Are you serious? You were invisible and pranked us? Haha, <laughs> get pranked, guys!